You know how we're talking about anti-vacciners today? Oh, oh. <laughs> I found that just now. It was on the front page of Reddit. Stream has started. Hi, stream. Uh, What's up, stream? Hi, stream. What up, stream? <laughs> Stop. It was on the front page of Reddit. Baby, you Stop. should look at that link. I want to know what you Stream has started. Hi, stream. I'm supposed to win him. <laughs> about to play D and D, so it's even better. <laughs> oh god, if only that was actually a thing. Oh my gulag. Oh my gulag. What did you just post in on her? Something just pretty funny. Fucking stupid. Uh, oh, we were talking about the actual. Mmm, Gulai. Fay is sick. They call it the plague. The wizard said he can protect us with the spell. Hmm, that's not. I hear it spells cause autism. Ah. Mmm, <laughs> Gulai. Gulai. Okay. Hi, Blake. Mm -hmm. Blake. Summer. And we got a Justin in there, too. Oh, yeah. We got Justin. I would like to announce to the stream that I now have this new thing where I'm going to post pictures of NPCs now. And the first NPC I would like to show the stream is a picture of our dear Jenny. <laughs> if that's cool with you guys yeah let's do it we should also announce the launch of our facebook page oh yeah we have a facebook page now so y'all should like that public one it is on the facebook that is a uh... oh luvia <laughs> what oh god yeah. So uh, yeah, if the stream has any questions as to how like a character looks, I do have stuff in PCs now. That's not the right picture of Jenny though. Oh, you want me to show that one? Yeah. I actually that's... don't have it open because I'm still trying to open up all the character sheets, etc. So if you would like to link to it or upload to Imgur. I try not to uh, cry every day. I don't want to cause all of my stream to cry. This Christ, guys. Like, so. you know, <laughs> oh, 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 uh. I want it, JoJo. I want it so bad. Oh, Punch you know, it. Man. Oh. JoJo, JoJo, I'm gonna kill you. Stop it. <laughs> what is this? JoJo has to record Filipino time. Yeah. Yeah, we need another Filipino time episode. Sound good? Perfect. Good. Swear to God, Enrique, if this is another spider, I'll kill you. No, it's better. Better uh, not be another Paolo fucking spider. Paolo's you over spiders this time. Pablo, can you confirm? I I can very much confirm. Yes. Oh, crispy pata, dude. I'm not clicking on any more of your. Freaking delicious food. Dude. Crispy Jojo. Pata is delicious, dude. Jojo, you need to stop. Crispy Pata is so good. I am aware that it is good. I'm and that's trying. why you hate. Yeah. That's, that's why I'm hating, because I cannot have... Oh, puto. Jojo, stop with your puto. No puto. <laughs> uh, for the stream, puto is um, delicious rice cake. 
Not. And for those of you of the Hispanic persuasion, it is yes. exactly what you think. <laughs> no. <laughs> it is everything. I have to want clarify. More. I really want crispy pata though. I want some puto. I'm sure you do, Pablo. <laughs> Get him off. If you noticed, uh, Jordan, I did upload a sprite and a character for. I noticed. Cash. I saw. I saw the single minute. I know it's oh. HD puto. <laughs> so good. <laughs> That is Stab it. Stab it. Someone posted a how-to guide about how to get out of a business meeting and become the president of Nicaragua. Sounds about right. <laughs> Sounds legit. Doesn't oh, sound pata. too hard. <laughs> what? Zoomed in on the crispy pata. Doesn't sound too hard. It, it, it's like calling... This, it's like getting a car accident and then buy KFC and then fly to Africa. <laughs> I couldn't get any more racist. I'm allowed to be. <laughs> so, what time should we start? No. I'm I'm really feeling it. Feeling it. Feeling it. Yeah, liquid jammers. I love those. Yeah. Step one: leave the meeting. Stand up in front where you can announce you have diarrhea. <laughs> Step oh, two. Go to the bathroom. Place paper towels in the drains and toilets. Turn them all on full blast and leave. Step three. Leave the building. Tell the receptionist Let's how you see. really feel about uh, how you really feel about what happened at the Christmas party. <laughs> Step four, pick up bags. Use your devil sticks <laughs> skill to impress them. <laughs> Step five, go find Stinky Steve. He will be where you normally find him. Step six, Stinky Steve will ask you to pick up and deliver a package. It won't need to be delivered guys, to Nicaragua. Guys. Facebook page! Oh. Facebook page! Facebook page! Step you seven. also go to the Facebook page. Yeah. Step seven, agree to pick up the, and deliver the package to Nicaragua. You'll do anything for Stinky Steve. Load the package. Show the babes all the gains you've been making. <laughs> Get kidnapped. Be... The babes will kidnap you. Talking about the Facebook page because, you know, let's, let's, you know, because that's, I, I haven't posted all the stuff yet, but that's where I'll be putting, like, the town descriptions as you guys explore them, uh, the map, and I'm also going to put in NPCs that are important. You know, things like that. It's a good place to keep track of all that story stuff without us having, to, like, new people to come and be like, so what's the story? What's going on? We could just be like, you should look here. And everything's there. Oh, you know God. what I'm saying? Yes. Yeah. Step 10, we'll wake up on a jet. See if this applies to your frequent flyer status. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Step 11, so, find out the two bits were CIA agents the whole time. Classic especially... Bases. Blake and Justin, if you wanted to know the background and the story and stuff, if you go to our Facebook page, it's under Notes, the tab Notes, and you can find the like the history and such. Also, our custom information, like what edition, the rules that I'm allowing. A lot of this is a lot of me BSing and homebrewing, so. John, I think I can hear your music in the background again. That's not mine. Someone's watching John Wick. Pro tip, this makes sense because... <laughs> Pro tip, this Sorry. makes sense because babes aren't into devil sticks. <laughs> <laughs> Step 12, the CIA will ask you to work for them. An agent will explain that Sneaky Steve is the heir to the Nicaraguan Empire and ask you to wear a wire. Step 13, find out the CIA likes to party. Party with the CIA agents and two girls on the jet. <laughs> Pro tip, hit a royal flush. <laughs> Step 14, prank call Kim Jong-un. Step 15, fall in love with Miranda. <laughs> <laughs> the whole thing is so dumb. <laughs> Step 16, arrive in Nicaragua. Who I've been in Nicaragua disguised as Hollywood superstar Mark Ruffalo. <laughs> Step 17, go to meet the leader of Nicaragua. Bonus, you won't be pleased to meet Hollywood star Mark Ruffalo. <laughs> I'm posting to the, the Twitch what, you've, what you're currently reading. <laughs> oh, God. Step 18, deliver the package. Step 19, find out the package was Sticky Steve the whole time. He was smuggling something in the ground to retake what is rightfully his. <laughs> Step 20, a gunfight will break out. 
Step 21, use the time to propose to Miranda. <laughs> Step 22, Stinky Steve will take out the leader of Nicaragua. Step 23, agree to be the new leader of Nicaragua. Stinky Steve's diving wishes to lead his people with kindness and respect. <laughs> Step 24, get married to Miranda. Congratulations, you have successfully gotten out of your business meeting and are now president of Nicaragua. <laughs> <laughs> Full proof. <laughs> it's a full proof plan. How to become the president of Nicaragua. I need to get some devil sticks. <laughs> <laughs> gotta go pick up days with devil sticks. I, I'm ready to go when you guys are. Yeah, I'm ready as well. I'm, I'm good. Uh, Mercer's going to meet up with uh, Matthew and ask if he can find a way back well, to that one. Well, first, okay, we need to do the whole where we last left our heroes. Okay. Yeah. Uh, the game... Dawn of the JMR, second day. welcome. Hi. I want to have to save so, these all individually. No. <laughs> okay. Hi, Who wants to do the where we last left our thing? Basically, where we last left our heroes, they got through this weird underground old temple thingy and retrieved the three mirrors that have the ability to um, communicate over vast distances. There was a Minotaur. Shit happened. Last time on Dragon Ball Z, yeah. our heroes found themselves in a mystical temple. And it, it took was... five seasons to get through it. It only took six t- six totems and a half season. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and then a movie. A and a movie, movie that takes movie place and not a... in canon. But An in entire movie. season of them yelling at each other. A movie, a spider, a swarm of bats, an even bigger bat, and maybe a minotaur. Hi, Jared. Definitely a minotaur. Occasional BDSM vines. Jared's here, guys. Say what's up. We almost got it. We had two characters get him tied to death. And then, yeah, the cash is the rogue, and Mercer Van Cleef almost got him tied to death by vines. Thanks, Japan. So now they're back in camp. Um, Mercer beat up on. By the way, Mercer, what day did you beat up on this guy? Probably on the first Emerson? day. Huh? Probably the first day. Okay, so let's just say that was the first day, and then the seventeenth. What do you guys do? Uh, I go up to Matthew. Yeah, Matthew is um, chilling, like a villain. Hey, hey, Matthew. I've been thinking that Minotaur probably has some really good bones that I kind of want. What you know, for? I uh, you know what scrimshaw is? No, not a clue. It's uh, it's kind of like bone art. You carve into the bone, um, and it, it's in decorative patterns, and it's just, it's fun to make. You can create little totems and things like that, or other forms of art. And minotaurs you, have big bones, so. You want to go back and grab some bones for your. Well, art? that and I want its skull. For what? I'm going to turn it into a spalding. That's gross. But it's I mean, cool. I'm not going to stop you. <laughs> look, I have a giant axe now. And I had to have a minotaur skull on my shoulder to look cool. I know, you're, you don't look like a barbarian. It's going to be freaking funny. I mean, don't you want a minotaur skull? Not really. You wouldn't understand. I guess not. Yeah. He kind of just looks at you weirdly. You know, just, I wonder who you're going to scare, depending on where you show up. We're going to Lockwood, so I'm not really worried about that. Uh, if you're going straight to Lockwood, I wouldn't be worried either. Yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll probably take it off when I go to Palace Windheim, or maybe not, I don't know. Are you going to Palace Windheim? If we ever have to. Huh. I mean, if I ever have to go to the Circle Jerk, I, I don't know. Well, you would have to be careful. Considering what you just did for us, I don't think you're quite aligned with the with the crown at the moment. Well, that's, that's, I mean, I doubt they know about that. I know, but if you're making a spectacle of yourself, you're making a spectacle of us. So should I not make a spectacle of myself? I'd prefer it, especially if you're, you know, working with us. Which you you are, basically. I still want to get that skull. <laughs> I'm not okay. going to... I might not wear it, but... Um, I'll at least make some fancy art with it. Do you guys remember where to go? You're the one who led us there. Yeah, I can't exactly leave 
Emerson here alone for the day. Okay, well, I got this rope. And I had a, a really good time beating him up yesterday. I'm sure I could do it again. Mercer, you had your fun, okay? And I let you have it, and it was really freaking hilarious, but, you know. You're new, still, ultimately. Maybe Cassius still remembers. I'll go ask Cassius. He, he might. And I mean, don't you want to see the Minotaur? You seemed really interested in it the other day. I'm amazed by it, but... You know, how a Minotaur ended up there, how long it's been down there, how it's been down there, all the other stuff you told me. I don't know. We already stole the mirrors. Yeah. Do you have a glass bottle as well? Glass bottle? Yeah. Um, I can check the stuff. I don't know if I do. A uh, wide mouth. A wider mouth glass bottle. Uh, like, oh. like a jar? Yeah, like a jar. Like a mason uh, jar with a lid. I mean, we have a few, like, spiced peaches in jars, if you want to eat some peaches out of the jars. Yeah, I'm going to need that. Please? Please. I'll pay you. I mean, I'll, I mean, I need that, so I'll pay you, obviously. I'm not going to take things that aren't mine without obvious compensation. All right, then that's fine. Yeah. However much you charge for spiced peaches. and. Yeah, just, uh, like, five silver. Yeah, I, I, I'll buy it. I'll send you that five silver. So I, you get eight... You get, like, a mason jar of spiced peaches. It's really delicious. I, I eat some, and then I offer some to the party, and then, yeah. I think I'll actually, yeah, let's, I'll just do that, and I'll offer some to the party. While trying to find caches. Cough, holes reference, cough. Oh, hey, yeah, that's a holes reference right there. It is a holes reference. <laughs> you mix that shit with onions, and it makes smells go away, don't you know? Don't you know. Don't you know. Okay, it I is go. a holes reference. I love that book growing up, so... I go up to Cassius. Hey, you like spiced peaches? I eat some. I turn to him and go, Um, yeah, sure. <laughs> Sweet. Well, uh, this is some of the... I have a question for you. Do you remember where that cave was the other day? Nope. <laughs> Great. Are you familiar with the area at all? Uh, maybe. <laughs> Can I make an intelligence check to see if I remember where the cave is? Yeah. That's one d two. Yeah. Just... <laughs> nope. Wait, you one... rolled a d two. Yeah, that's one d two on accident. That doesn't count. But Not it is hilarious. <laughs> it is hilarious, though. Nah, no, I don't remember it either. See, I need to remember how to get there. Why? What do you want? Uh, the Minotaur's head. And some fungus. Which is gonna go in this jar. Why? Well, when I walked into the room with that fungus stuff, uh, I got really, really cold, and I, um, like, like, to the point where, like, it pained me to be near it. I think that could be really useful. So if I stuff the fungus in a jar, close it up, the spores can't get out, and then I could, I don't know, toss it in a room of people we'd like to incapacitate. Or, seen enough. or like, put it in someone's food. I mean, like, I mean, like, I think I get, I get the gist of why you would want that, but why the head? <laughs> uh, well, I'll send in some bones. See, I work, I work with Scrimshaw. It's... And I, it's kind of a bone art. You carve into the bone to make it look pretty. And uh, I like to, intelligence that's... or knowledge check to, or intelligence check to see if I know what Scrimshaw is. Go for it. Also, Alexander. I am the oh. Scrimshaw master. You know exactly what Scrimshaw is. By the way, Alexandria, Matthew simply circles it on the map. <laughs> uh, fucking fogey. <laughs> Mercer, are we heading out or not? Heading out where? You damn well know where. Can, you want to help me eat the spiced peaches and clean out the jar first? I'm Fuck no. I'm going to reach my hand in and eat, uh, eat a spiced peach. <laughs> not after he did that. It's pretty good. <laughs> Alright, let me get let me get my stuff. I'm just going to bring a sack. I'm not going to bring my whole backpack. But I, but I look at Mercer and I go, but seriously, if you wanted to do proper scrimshaw, you're going to need a thicker bone than the minotaur. Try looking for a goat. <laughs> you think a goat's bone is honestly 
pick Alexander up. Alexander does of say course, he likes peaches too. Of course, they have to headbutt each other during mating seasons. If it's not, then their brains <laughs> are just practically baby batter. Right. Okay, let's just go. And I head out. Who's going with you? Um. Well, Alexander's so cute. <laughs> we'll okay. hang out with Alexander. I, I inform everyone if they like you, <laughs> and I give peaches out. All right, I'd like to be clear on who's coming with and who's not. Sure. Or is everyone going? Sure, why not? I bring... You know, I, I do bring my backpack. And then the sack. I don't bring the large great axe. Okay. Yes, appropriate appropriate response, Alexander. <laughs> Peaches. Give, give me your wallet. <laughs> <laughs> give me your wallet. Peaches. Uh. Alright, no, really, who's going? Uh, so yeah. Is- Sarah, Hunt, Sarah, Alexander, Alexandria, and Cassius. So everyone. So everyone's going. Okay. Uh, sure. Alexander says he'll help out. Alexander, I need you to take the pot. He had the pot. Oh Adam? well, keep carrying the pot. I'm gonna need it. What's the pot for? Oh, the f- cooking. Do we need to? What? Okay, let's just go. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you... well, I don't want. I I don't want people. So I, I'm gonna go along as a guiding eye. So we head back to the cave. Yeah. Um, since Alexander uh, Alexandria was able to just simply ask Matthew, "Can you mark it on the map?" <laughs> you know exactly where that general area is. Um, it takes you a while to figure out which cave it is, but since there were very few of the ones that you couldn't see the back of immediately, uh. One second. Anthony, I'm streaming. Nerd! <laughs> Do you want my debit card to run to the store? <laughs> Advanced stage Do you want me to... <laughs> the Idiot, it's almost 10. They close at like... Oh, we have to be there at 10, so we're leaving here at 9.30. Ooh, what we do. And that's sleeping, and you're talking really loud. Did you drink just now? He's like, no. Okay, well, I'll, I'll, we leave at 9.30. Love you. Okay. Go back to that. Where were we at? Sorry, Anthony was being like... He's being a nerd. And he's being a nerd. They're having conversation, talking shit about Mercer's. So, it's pretty great. Um, so you guys travel, you know exactly where to go. Um, after you figure out which cave it is, it's pretty simple. It takes about. Oh my gosh, shut up, Anthony. Sorry. You should be. Anyway. How early do you guys leave the camp, by the way? Uh, as soon as we can. Which is? I would have talked to Matt in the morning. Matt in the morning so. Okay, so uh-huh. you guys probably leave pretty early in the morning. Yeah. Alexandria, did you pray for your spells that day? I'm assuming, yeah, for the morning ritual, since we left at, like, what would be around, like, 11 or 12. Yeah, sounds about right. Question. Answer. How long have we been away from the... From the runes. What runes? Meaning, like, how long have we been away from the temple? Two Since days. we went in, got the artifacts, and then went back. It's been a day. Mm. Like, you guys went back, spent the day there, and then the next day. Oh, you're right. Let's see. Alexander, do you really want to eat the cow for the our meat? Well, if we get hungry, then yeah, I guess. I don't know. It's, not, it's probably going to be I know. That, that's what I was very the meat be rancid. It could be rancid by now. I mean, there's nothing stopping from smaller animals getting in there and, you know, like, you know, rats. 
God knows I don't want the plague. <laughs> hey, did anyone bring that mirror? Because we're supposed to be holding on to one of those. That's yeah, I still have mine. I want to prank call him. Okay, let's just keep walking. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Alexandria walks a bit faster. So who has... Okay, so Alex, the Alexes have the mirrors, yes? Yes. I think we gave two away and we kept one. No, you gave one away. Oh, we kept one. We kept two. Okay. Yeah. Your mission was to actually bring one of, like, one of the two that you guys have to Lockwood so that there's three being active at all times. Yeah, Alexandria, let's just, just dirt up your face a bit. And when you call, we'll all just start screaming. And you just be like, oh my god! There's a dragon! Let's see what they say. How good you're acting. Well, not a dragon. Okay, it's too, too grandiose. Let's go with... How about... Uh, hold on, wait, hold on. I, 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 I'm just gonna do this. Four. Just to, just to see if it works. Cassius is gonna point and be like, Oh crap, a bear! Meh. I don't... I, I, I look at... I, I know, you gotta do a sans motive, Jay. <laughs> I'd look where you're pointing, and there's not a bear, so... <laughs> Shut your mouth, yes there is. <laughs> look, before you guys decide on this, you guys need to get your, you know, animal creature right. Are you guys gonna do a minotaur, or a bear, or a boar, or... Eh. Uh, let's do man-bear-pig. <laughs> I think that's a little bit too out of this world for them. No, it's not. <laughs> It's half man. You know, it's it's. Like, <laughs> what is it like? Half man, half bear, half pig. Exactly. It would, it's it three halves be, of a whole thing. It would be. <laughs> That's not even possible. A half is It two. would be a man bear pig chimera. Man bear pig doesn't give a crap. You can have three halves if you're man bear pig. Only That's if you're man bear pig. What are you talking about? A chimera has three halves. Yeah, and man bear pig must be a chimera. Alexander, are we calling him or not and saying that there's man bear pig chasing us? Uh, Howard Considering we, we probably like should just we probably should, should just start running to catch up to Alexandria and then we could just do that on the way. No, no, you see, if you guys really wanted to, you guys have to wait for her to go ahead a little bit. That way she can't yell out or something and, and ruin the ruin the surprise. You have to pretend that she's, that she's down or something. I don't know. Alexandria, well, we really shouldn't lose her, but she has the map. She kind of has the map. Yeah, well, I, I can go catch up to her. I mean, I'm not going to stop her, because I don't think that's smart. <laughs> I mean, I could just run up to her. Just... Woo! If we call him at a bad time, the better. Say he's, like, using the restroom, and then suddenly he starts hearing, Help, help, man bear pig. He's going to run over to the mirror. Is his drawers down? That would be funny. <laughs> I'll let you guys handle it. I'm going to go catch up to Alexandria. See if I can slow her down just a wee bit. Okay, so, we... Cash is, so Cash is going to turn to turn to Mercer and ask, So how old are you again? <laughs> uh, 38. But young. <laughs> I noticed. Look, if you're going to have fun, you have fun. You can be old and stuff like that, but it doesn't matter. Okay, don't throw out a hip, Grandpa, and then he just full sprints off. <laughs> so, Alex, we doing this? All right, I, I sprint after the rest of the party. Okay, I guess this goes on should we just roll bluff checks to see if we can pull this off oh god <gasps> yeah fine <laughs> alright Alexander let's do it oh nice. shit oh my god okay, oh give me a second yeah bluff. I don't have anything no it's not it's not a problem since bluff's on train though I do get uh -huh. my one from charisma so, it, oh. yeah, not that good. Okay. A, a list and a picture would be good. Yeah, it's just two things. Okay. 
Sure. Okay. Okay. Not a problem. Yeah. Please do. Thank you. Love you. Sorry. What happened? Just another day in the Rico Forte. So, how do you guys do this? We just start to turn it on, start screaming that help, help, man, very pig is after us. We need your help. All right. Um, Matthew, uh, immediately, like, with Alexander's amazing performance, yeah, um, Matthew's friend. immediately convinced, and immediately he just goes, Oh my god, where are you? What's your location? Alexander. How many people do you need? Are you all right? It's all, it's all of Alexander. He's on holding the mirror. For our stream, JoJo is typing because he can't talk at the moment. Cassius is going to walk up behind Alexander and just be like, Oh shit, the mirror actually works. <laughs> <laughs> okay, at first Matthew kind of reacts like, Sarah's Sarah's hurt right now? What about your healer? And then that's when Cassius pops in up behind him and goes, oh shit, it works. Go help your your sorceress. I, I look at him like, I push Cassius out of the way. Yeah, Cassius, come on, help. <laughs> what the f but he's sitting there just like super confused. Like, what the fuck? It looks like Matthew's, uh, like, like, you know, rustling around, grabbing things. Like, as if getting ready to head out. And then he h h yells over his shoulder, I need five people to come with me. We have to go <laughs> after them. Oh, God, you <laughs> fuckers. <laughs> <laughs> so, Alexandria does that with hers? Uh oh. Uh oh. What is it? What happened? Alexandria, I guess, opened hers. Okay, so Alexandria. <laughs> All right, Matthew pauses for a second. Wait, what? Are you in danger or not? <laughs> I start laughing really hard. <laughs> Matthew kind of it, looks. Heal, Sarah. <laughs> what is going on? He looks really frustrated. <sighs> Nothing. We got him! I, I stabbed him and he appeared and Alexandria, he what's to going butterflies. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Matthew kind of sighs for a second and he pinches the bridge of his nose. I don't care where you are, turn back right now and get back here now. Oh, you could take a joke, right? Come on. Come back here right now. This isn't funny. It will be gone. What are you, twelve? Did These aren't toys. Come back here right now. We're all coming after you. I don't care what Emerson does. Did you honestly just believe in man bear pig? What was man bear pig? You didn't even mention a man bear pig. What is for we mentioned man bear? I don't know what you're talking about. Just get over here. Maybe the age has gotten to you. Look, I'm sorry. We just get over here. Uh, like, this isn't, this says, isn't a toy. When, Are you serious he, right now? When Cassius hears, uh, maybe they just got into you, he just goes, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> you really can't take a joke, can you? Do you think the thing you're holding in your hand is a joke? No, it's an ancient relic. Come Thank on. you. Now bring it back. You can get your bone toys elsewhere. Ah, <sighs> shit! Grandpa got grounded. <laughs> All right, well, it's a thought. Not it's not my fault, what do you guys think? I return to the party. What do you mean? What do you think? You're coming back here, or I'm coming after you. This is ridiculous. Gosh, just looks and just shrugs and says, "Orders are orders," and then he just starts heading back. I look at Matthew. All right, fine. You have my word. We won't do it again. We're just gonna get the stuff and come back. No, you're coming back now. I'm coming after you on horseback. Well, we're only like probably an hour to walk out. You'll probably get here in like 20 minutes. Good, then I can retrieve you myself. He's, it looks like he's already saddling up to go. 
Oh, do I, I, I need towards... to drag you back, or are you coming back right now? I turn to Alexandra. Do you want to keep walking, or do you want to go back? Cassius says from a distance, Y'all coming or not? <laughs> Just, yeah, you won this round. Fuck you. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, we'll go back. Hope he's what good do you enough. Mean, fight. We'll go back. You're ordered to. He shuts off the mirror. Oh, those mirrors have off buttons. Apparently, it's like kind of like a it. It when you intend for it to reach someone, it does. Hmm. Gosh, he's really just gonna can't walk take out. a joke. He's just gonna start heading back. Um. How close? So, what do you guys do? Do you all head back? Yep, I, I head back without... I guess we're heading back. Like, without questioning it. Okay. Marissa, we're going we're gonna to let you handle and deal with him. Oh, that's fine. He's just too uptight. Pablo, Cesar Flores. He liked our page. Look at God! Oh. Yeah, I know! Cesar's back! Cesar! <laughs> Sorry. That guy's just too uptight. Who, Caesar? No, he's a sweetheart. No, no, I'm talking about... <laughs> Oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm talking about, talking about Matthew. I'm sorry. But really, no, Caesar's the sweetest. Oh, yeah, no, I, I heard a lot of good stuff about him. Today. Caesar, I love you. Okay, anyway. What's up, dude? Back to the game. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, it's going to be interesting watching you guys explain to him. He's never really been in... I, I could tell Matthew's never been in an actual unit. Well, do you think anyone in the Valtier has really been in an actual unit? Just like, maybe, like, I mean, maybe Emerson. He looks old enough. I don't know. You make jokes. That's how you get through this stuff. Oh, shit. Left shark. <laughs> yeah, Lohengrin does probably know a few tricks. He definitely... I, Logan seemed a lot more uptight. Matthew suddenly got really serious the last couple of days. Um, Longgren's not there. Uh, I did talk to Longgren from a little bit. Something tells me that he just had a rough, a rough day that day, and you just, well, the, the, the kind of exasperated the situation a little bit. Yeah, who knows? <laughs> well, it could be because you have the mirrors now. I mean, you guys just got something that they didn't think you know, they were willing to lose men over, and. We're more than capable. Although I might doubt that, since we can play jokes all the time. At least I do. Yeah. yeah either way. Guess okay. I'm in a particularly good mood. I so, um, again. do you guys uh, end up at back at camp, I guess? Yeah? yeah? Unless you go elsewhere? Nope. No? Okay. Back to Valtier camp. Matthew's at the front waiting for you guys. And he looks rather anxious and rather frustrated. Well, I killed an hour of daylight. Yeah. So why'd you get all panicky? Because we thought you were in trouble. Alexander's performance was... Impressive. Quite, he kind of looks over at Alexander like, Really, guy? Really? Where's she going? Alexandria has always had to stick up her ass. She, uh... Yeah, she for good gonna... reason. I don't think you understand the gravity of this. I'd like to hold on to the mirrors for now, then. Cassius is gonna go off to the tent and see course, how she's doing. Of course I understand the gravity of this. These are three ancient relics that we received for you. And you're fiddling around with them like crazy. Because all they do, according to you, and as far as we know, is send messages to each other. You're the only one with them. It was a hard Yeah, point. and you sent us a message that made us mobilize immediately. You were really able to mobilize five men in like. No, six but we seconds. attempted to. Now hand over in the mirrors. Seconds. I don't have them. Alexandria has it. Oh. And she kind of went off towards the tent. Alex? Oh, We're Alex. safe in the tent. She takes she, it from Alex. She won't give it to anyone else. She's really anal. Like, more anal than you ever know. Well, you could afford to. You know, kind of weird. Come on, have some dignity here. Of that course, was, I have dignity. That was stupid. What have you just humor. did. That was incredibly stupid. How is it stupid? 
Honestly, having a little fun, playing our harmless if, prank. Imagine if something actually happened to you, and I think it's a joke. You panicked for all of twelve seconds, and then you found out it was fake. You're such a fucking child! My gosh! And he walks off. Hmm. Right. Oh, to be honest, she wasn't part of this. Could you? What? That's fine. All right. You know what? You're right. She was the one who intercepted. Thank you for that. All right, just hang out at camp until Lohengrin gets back or head off to Lockwood. I don't know. Maybe we should just be the ones to take the mares to Lockwood. You can go to Lockwood on your own time to get your own information. As far as I know, I'm still going to Lockwood. I do want right, to see well, that's on you. Mentioned. You told us we put us in contact. That was part of our deal. That's all on you. I already told you what you'll find there, and you can find it there. Then. Are you backing out, then? Backing out of what? You gave us a deal. You'd, inter- you'd bring us to them. Luke and Vern. He crosses his arms. Cassius is still going to escort you. I don't know what what the deal is. Alexandria still has one of the mirrors, which we promised to you. Right? Yeah. All so, right. no big deal. Fair enough. Also, one thing straight. You don't give me orders. You don't... <laughs> okay. We're free he agents here. Off. We're not about here. He already walked yet. off. Okay. Okay, I go and find Alexandria. Go for it. I walk into the tent with Alexandria. Okay. Uh, right, there's four of us in the tent. Oh, no. Well, it's a bigger tent. Yeah. Pablo got quiet. <laughs> yeah, Pablo got really quiet. You act like she's going to say anything. She's seething right now. Oh, shit. <laughs> what is up with you, Alexandria? Every single thing I do, you just get mad nonstop. You never smile. Uh, maybe because you're playing with the information pertaining to my father, who, and you're, per- you're messing around with things you shouldn't. This may be all fun and games to you. You may be at the end of your lifespan, so you have a why-not-give-a-fuck attitude, but this is important. Of course it's important. I finally get to see my friends. You finally get to see your father. What's not to be excited about and joke around? I don't see how you can't be happy. This isn't something you dick around with. Now stop acting like a kid, goddammit. She leaves the tent. Cash is just going to peek in through the tent and say, she right, you know. right now. He's just going to go and follow after Is Alexandria carrying her stuff? Yes. Okay. Specif- specifically, because I know your dumbass would try and take it from her. <laughs> okay. Well, I guess I go try to get you and get this, get your backpack to get the map. It's a shame too. I really wanted to see that Minotaur Spalding. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm gonna go find her and get the map. Well, in the meantime, Cash is gonna be like, Alexandria, you okay, girl? <laughs> <laughs> you trying to pick up on her? <laughs> no, no. No, that's how he talks. Occasionally. <laughs> I, I don't know. This is just really fucking annoying, but, you know, whatever. Uh, is he is he always that fucking stupid? <laughs> um, I don't know. Ask him yourself. Apparently to me, I'm the only one that's uptight about it, and to him this is completely normal. I'm also convinced he's partially retarded, but again, <laughs> go ask him. I mean, I mean, pay, uh, you, you, you worship Palo, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, your, your point is? I don't know, but Palo forbid that he actually be retarded, because then we're all screwed. <laughs> you know what? I I don't I don't know what to do, because Pelor is um. You, he's gonna like tenderly put his hand on your shoulder, like in like a friendly sort of way, and just be like, "Look, I knew this guy named Jeffrey, not the <laughs> smartest fucking guy." <laughs> My name and, is Jim. And ends up screwing up major drug deal back when I was a kid. <laughs> God, it actually is it. And, of course, when I go and save his ass, I get this thing. He lifts up his shirt and he has this big old, like, cut scar on his, like, abdomen. He's like, retarded people are dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> you never go full retard. You never you know- go I, I'm inclined to believe you, and right now, Pelor is not helping out with my patients. I mean, Pelor forbid that he comes walking up right now anyway. Hey, guys, God, see? 
Sometimes I'm thinking that God's ain't here. Sometimes that that's your cue to walk up, Mercy. <laughs> Yeah, I guess I walk up then. You're like, Alexandria, I need the map. Shit, see? <laughs> Alexandria, I need your map. I'm not the only one with the map. Go ask someone else. I can't borrow your map? Nope. He's going to cross his hands and be like, mm, gotta earn that respect, boy. <laughs> yeah. It's also a two-way street. She's been like this every step of the way since I met her. So. Um, you don't really leave that good of a first impression. No offense. Eh, maybe. You're probably right. No, 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 I'm definitely right. <laughs> Look, I honestly don't care too much people's first impressions of me. Obviously. <laughs> <laughs> I'm middle-aged. I'm 38 years old. I've grown past the point of caring. The only thing I really care about is actually getting, doing something right by this world since I seem to screw it up pretty bad when I w w worked with the Windheim forces. As far as I'm concerned, these Valtier guys... Their means to a good end. Now, all I want to do, have some fun, meet with my old pals, do some right by this world. And first off, need that map. Uh, no. Go ask someone else for the map. I was going to say, you can ask Matthew, right? He has a map, Sarah has a map, Alexander should have a map. Don't know why you need to keep pestering me about it. Fair enough. You don't seem to listen to me anyways. Because you never listen to me. Anytime I talk to you, you walk off. Because look what your last idea just did. That was your honest-to-good first idea, and you managed to fuck up, and we ended up getting sent back. This That's is exactly why I have problems listening to you. When I introduced myself in hog's feet, you walked away. Before I even <laughs> asked your I name, didn't even you know away. you. And again, I'm here to actually help people, not dick around and have a good time. You act like this is the time to have jokes and shit. It's not. Now again, I don't take orders from a kid. When you decide to man the hell up and act like an adult, then come find me. She's gonna <laughs> storm off yet again. She's really good at storming off. And Cash just follows in her storming. Fair enough, I go find Matthew. Yeah, um, Matthew's actually working on his tent. In his tent. Blue ba doo 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 Yeah, I go in there. Yep. Matthew's, um, seems to be looking over some shit. Papers. Hey, Matthew. Hey, Matthew. Hey. Sorry about what I did before. Just yeah, a little no, excited. I, I overreacted too, but, you know. I haven't seen... I haven't seen Luke and Vern in ten years. In fact, pretty much... No one has. At least anyone that we worked with. My squad's either dead, died of old age, or them, apparently. Really excited to see them. Anyway, I came and asked you for a thing. I seem to make a pretty awful mess with my party back there. So, it's... Thinking about heading out. Can I have a map? Where, where are you going? I'm going to go find that Minotaur, do my own thing, then head up to Lockwood myself. Uh, okay. Yeah. Is that safe? Hell yeah, it's safe. I've been on my own a long time. So you, you, you argue with a few people, and you just head out? Ever since I got in with them with Hog's Feet, we've all had the same sort of means. Sarah doesn't open up to anyone. Alexander, well, he's it's he's a complicated story. I don't feel like getting into. And uh, Alexandria, on the other, she's never really given me the time of day to hear any of my advice outside of looking at me like I'm some old guy who's just a little too immature. You are an old guy who's a little immature. <laughs> yeah, because I like to have fun. You know, like you you come in here and you walk up talking like a big shot, saying like, "Yeah, this happened in this town, and and we want to help and." And you did, you know, you, you got our mirrors and that's great. But, and, and we really looked to you, you know, we were really desperate and we were so grateful. Matthew, maybe it's something you just don't quite understand yet. But it's something, maybe it's something, something you don't understand. We've been looking all over. Matt, here's the thing. That's just my work ethic. I say I'm going to go do something and I go do something. And I play it mostly by my own rules when it comes to laughing and all making jokes all the time. But if I say I'm doing something, I'm doing something. Then you're going to always end up alienating people and being alone, right? 
That's how is I lost my first wife. And you're okay with that? Of course I'm not okay with it. I think then about why it do time. you let it happen? I mean, yeah, you're, you've seen the world. You, cu- you keep talking about how much experience you've got. And I know I have very little experience, right? I know I do. But everyone's got stuff to learn. So do you. Like, I see it. You're a good guy and you mean well and you want the best for everyone. But you can't be this hotshot loner all the time. I think it's flattering that you think I'm trying to be a hotshot loner. I'm not. You are a hotshot loner. Well, I guess then, thank you. But Why is that a good thing? Just is to me. Oh, yeah, yeah. When it comes well, down to I can't it, give you any other resources after, like, everything. Especially if you're just going to wander off on your own and do your own thing. I'm going to meet up with them in Lockwood. Don't worry. I don't care what happens honestly if you're not going to take my advice I really cannot give you anything because you're not like you said part of the Valtier you know why I'm not aligning myself with the Valtier I don't care it'll end up making me dead simple as that it'll end up making you dead yeah you align yourself with the Valtier align yourself with Winheim they'll end up dead in time that's what happens when you get involved in these wars I thought I People end up dead anyway. At least we have a cause. At least we're banding together. Yeah, you're banding together, but you're gonna die by it. So you're all about self-preservation. Then go. You don't need my map. You don't need Matthew. What kind of camp from us? What? What's the purpose of this camp? Think about it real hard, real quick. What's the purpose of this camp right here? We want to push forward. We want to make things better. We want to make changes. Yeah. Then why is everyone armed? Because we need to protect ourselves. Isn't that obvious? Okay. Then why do some of your men, including Emerson, I'm sure he has some loyal followers, feel that they could do that by attacking people? When it only took a group of five people, sorry, four people, no, five, yeah, five people, to come in here from Dastin and just casually talk to you and convince you that maybe you should just talk to the Lord? That was, no, the, Emerson was not us. This camp was not us. No, now it is. Matthew, you don't get it. That is you. We went to Hogsfeet. We went. We traveled. We went to Das. We talked to people. They think you are Emerson, and that's why we got to make changes. That's why we're actively doing things. So go, go. I'm not stopping you from leaving. I know you're not. So I can't give you any more resources from Valtier, from the Valtier Rebellion. Go. We're not going to stop you. We're not going to tell you, oh, don't go to the Windheim, blah blah blah, and tell them where we are. We're not going to do that. Just go. That's why I need the map. I can't give you one. What if I pay you? Simple huh? as that. If I pay you. I'm, I'm sorry. I got no use for any more gold. Thanks, though. Ask your friends. What can I do to get a map, then? Ask your friends. I don't know. I'm sure they have one. Alexander is the only one with it. She won't give me one. Well, looks like maybe you have to say I'm sorry. I'm not good at that. Oh my Correct. god, what a fucking nightmare. Correct. Right. <laughs> we all gotta learn. I apologize for overreacting. And, well, yeah, she could learn to bend a little bit. And <laughs> Seems like it. But she did have a point, Mercer. Oh, I never doubted that. I know she's right. And that's why you should say you're sorry. I know I should. But it's much easier to go out. Then go. Like I said, no one's stopping you. No, oh, you're right. I do need to say I'm sorry, if, especially if I want to go get that Minotaur. If you want to go get that Minotaur, go get that Minotaur. You won't stop us? I can't, right? You guys don't answer to us. You guys did us a favor. Um, deal's a deal. I'm allowing you guys to go to Lockwood without question. You guys have one of the mirrors, and I'll, I don't know how, but I'll find a way to bring the third mirror over there. Maybe I'll send some of my guys. Look, we'll go and bring and deliver it. It's as simple as that. We don't want to be, at least I, I won't speak for them. I don't want to be a Valtier member, but I do want to help the Valtier. All right, well, I, you know, I genuinely like you guys. I wouldn't be talking to you like this if I didn't like you guys. I do. I think you guys are, are fun, and it's just talk to them, I guess, because right. I really cannot give you any Valtier resources. Not like this. Fair enough. I'll be back in 
a little bit. Whatever you say. Right. Then I go find the party. At the fire. Hey, where's Alexandria? Or is she like, because like, I'm assuming it's all this. Is she like standing over by the road? There's a fire pit right there. Boop. Okay. I'm sorry. Getting carried away, making a joke. Because I have to do it. Two minutes, three minutes, something like that. Okay. Okay. So breaking it. Um. Sorry. Break time. All right. Give me two minutes. Brb. I have chocolate downstairs and I'm really thinking of getting it and bringing it up and eating it. It's delicious for a Rocher. <laughs> Ferrari Rochelle. So good. We got 11 <laughs> likes on our Facebook. What? We got 11 likes on the Facebook public page. We do? Twitch, what's up? Stream, miss you. Really? <gasps> I Do we got a link. Do we got a link yeah. in the description. Jay yeah, money. Facebook. There it is. Hey, whenever you up, uh, update, like refresh Twitch, it reset resets the the chat. Uh, just lose it. Ah. We have eleven likes. It's pretty cool. It is the like tastic. I'm gonna use the restroom. Okay. Hey, stream. We're just having a quick break. <laughs> We got John, I think his dad came home. And I don't know what Pablo's doing. Blocking out the noises of his parents' coitus. <laughs> That's what I just always assume is happening at his places. His dad is just like... Just like, yeah! I'm Blake there! Hi, Blake! I'm back, though. Oh my god. My... my aim. Uh, voice hasn't been on the stream in like ages, yeah. Yep. Okay. No, so like, John Wick. It wasn't on the video. It's John Wick. He assassinated your microphone. Yeah, but now they're watching Oja. No, I'm sorry, John. Yeah. No, I just I want to thank Blake, Justin, and Jared, and everyone else who was taking the stream. Thank you guys. You should, link. You should totally like. I use the back. Well, yeah, I'm 53 back, viewers well. for a stream. With Maybe. 53 viewers? What? No. No. Oh. I, I was shit. like, I was, I was saying like wishful numbers. <laughs> oh, it'd be great if we had 53. Like the time Future we had that raid and we had 60 at like peak. Future numbers. Anyway, are we all back? Uh, yeah, probably all still gone. Oh. Okay. And my door just closed itself. Too spooky. Too spooky. 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 Back. Okay. Right, you guys ready? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Alright, I'll just restart that. They probably have to refresh his ear so he didn't have to hear the sounds of coitus. Oh god. Nope, 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 nope. My dad is taking his meds. He is sedated. Uh, oh, okay. I survive another night. <laughs> the entire night. Until tomorrow. Until the next night. We thought of the same thing. Oh god. <laughs> Uh, it's, like, it's like two or three days into Valentine's Day, God. Alright, I'll restart that. I'm sorry. Uh oh. Sedated and baited. That's really no reaction? Oh, okay, yeah. For what? What uh what Cassius said, making an ass out of myself. Looping you into that. 
It's really impressionable. I shouldn't have uh, teased you into pranking Matthew. It was pretty fun, I will admit. Excuse me. I had a good fun, good laugh. I'm glad you had a good laugh with it. Yeah, I probably should. Maybe I shouldn't have bought Matthew in on the fun yet. He seems really distracted. He is part of a rebellion. Yeah, I talked to him about that. I mean, if the joke was a little bit more lighthearted instead of us being attacked, like maybe we found a, found a leprechaun or something stupid. Leprechaun? I have no Does idea. Does he exist? I mean, I've never seen one, so I wouldn't know. But I don't know, but like that would be point. interesting, wouldn't it? <laughs> just a halfling in a green suit. Yeah, wasn't well, isn't that what a what the leprechaun is? Just some that, prank the halflings pull. That is a lie. They have all the gold. You really think halflings have all the gold? No, leprechauns have all the gold. Yeah, aren't leprechauns just ha just a halfling, you know, wearing a green suit that goes around, right after after me, lucky charms or something? Can't yeah, like help but think this is probably really racist to halflings. <laughs> Sorry, I just isn't that where the legend came from and all that. Whatever, whatever. There are no stunties in the camp. <laughs> stunties. <laughs> all right, look. I'll be honest. I can tell most of you think I'm an idiot. Stunties in the camp. I can tell most of you think I'm an idiot for making pranks like this. And for that, I really want to hear it. If you actually do or not, show of hands or by voice doesn't matter. I'm not gonna say you're an idiot, but I think that was. Not a smart way to go about it. I mean, jokes are fine and everything, right? <laughs> Alexander? <laughs> but, okay, wait, which jokes are terrible? Real quick? The puns or that one in particular? Because I'm not stopping the puns. The puns go on. Always. Oh. Anyway, scratch that. The reason why I ask. I'll head out if you don't want me. Well, that's a bit of a leap. You've done fuck up once, and all of a sudden it's like, no, go fuck off? What? Well, you pretty much all turned on me on that joke. So I feel like... I never once involved <laughs> myself in that joke. You guys involved me, so... None of you had my back. You were all game on it. And then the second it goes sour... I didn't participate in it at all. That's you, Matthew, and... You and Matthew. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Not necessarily I don't want to go without you. I just figured you guys would have my back. You feel the Minotaur? Wait, 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 wait hold, 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 hold up, hold up. Okay, okay. Let me get this straight. So let's let's go through this time wise. You, we were out there walking. Um, Alexandria storms off ahead. Uh, you guys say you want to joke about everything. I'm kind of you know let you guys have your fun and whatever. So I would go off and run off to uh, catch up to Alexandria, see if I can catch her to slow down a little bit. Then you guys start your joke. She intervenes, saying that no, and everything's potentially saving uh, Matthew from riding out with five disheveled men trying to save our asses. Uh, we get back to camp. She storms off, and then I stay quiet. And now you're coming up to us saying you're apologizing, and then now you're questioning why we don't have your back. <laughs> right? Right. That, that's just the timeline. I'm just, I'm just confirming a timeline here, right? Yeah. I'm, pre I'm pretty, pretty sure I'm... Pretty sure that I don't have to speak for everyone, but I will in this situation. I'm not really a part of your party, but I can read a situation. Is that we'll have your back in dire situations like combat or combat. 
<laughs> I can hog feet or audacity. Well, uh, okay, hold on. That can't right, wrong. Anything on. outside go of on. your actual fucking shenanigans, man. I'm pretty sure that will have your back on. Just keep us out of your shenanigans. <laughs> I can live with that. I can yeah. live with that. I don't want you to leave as in run off because, I mean, you've proved to be valuable and helpful. And Oh, you know, no, I'm not saying, just... like, I'm, like, 12-year-old boy, like, wham, my friends don't want to play. I'm going to run off. I mean, like, Lockwood <laughs> is that? right down there. And two of my best friends are over there. We have to wait here another couple days. You guys don't want to have fun. We chose. I want to go have fun with the two guys I've missed for 10 years. Okay. I well... mean, I'm sure Alexandria and Alexander both feel the same way. You guys are so calm. It's your fucking parents. I think it's because we agreed to wait for longer. Yeah, so have fun while you wait. We're going to get a Minotaur skull and fungus and stuff like that. At this point, so um, young Mark Hamill pop... Oh, not Mark Hamill. I'm looking at the wrong name. Um, young uh, Frederick, he's one of the guys who actually helped out uh, Matthew's team Matthew uh, down at the caves. He pops by. He seems to have overheard everything. Uh, I, I hate to intrude. No, Hello. speak your mind. Just wait. Oh, hey, Fred. What's up, dog? <laughs> he waves at Alexandria especially because she tended to him. After. He was the one slung over Matthew's shoulder. The one that Alexander helped him out to and then Alexandria healed him. Cash is gonna walk up and be like, "Hey, Fred, you good?" <laughs> Hi, Cash. I'm good. You sure? Cause it was ragged on not too long ago. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know. Ah, I'm sorry. The DM seems to have messed up her headset. Oh, I have a question. Is Alexandria facing away or towards this conversation? Pretty sure she's facing towards, but ignoring, like not saying much, right? Yep. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh, Miss Alexandria did a very good job taking care of me. Yeah, clearly. You're back on your feet. Mm-hmm. If I may, I know the way back. Yeah? Yeah. I mean... It's kind of fun listening to you guys. <laughs> he kind of smiles. But, you know... Friendship is magic. He seems to be young. <laughs> All right, yeah. Well, if you want to show the way, I'm glad to go with you. Any of you guys up for it? I won't be able to help much. I'm not very well versed in, you know, the stuff they gave me to use. But I've have? been working on it. What do you have? I I have my short sword, and just in case, I have my short bow. Does he have it with him? It's in his... No, he, okay. he doesn't. You show us where to go, I'll show you how to use them properly. You know how to shoot a bow. Were we not supposed to stay here, or are we free to leave after what we did? I, I think he doesn't really care. I think about us too much, considering we're not really Valtier. We're kind of free agents. I mean, we work with you guys because we want to help the Valtier. You guys, the Valtier, not a great name for you guys outside this camp, and... <laughs> but you're better than Winheim, so... I mean... Best option. We're just here to help you. And I'm pretty sure we could ask Matthew and he'd be cool. Well, if you can ask him, I'd be happy to show you the way. Oh. And hell, if he denies anyway, I'll just teach you how to use that sword properly. Okay. And Sarah, yes, I do know how to use a bow as well. Oh. I'm not the best with the bow, but I... I when you're... Uh, uh, never mind, I might not mention that one. But when you're learning how to use your stuff in the academy, um, you, you find the weapon that most suits you, and you kind of have to pick up one. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so do you guys go to Matthew? Well, I know. I'll, I'll, not yet. Well, we're going to... I really want to hear what the rest of you guys have to say about if you want to go with or not. Or am I just going alone on this one? With Fred, of course. Awesome. But we need... You're a lot like your father, Alex. 
you knew how to have fun. Guess they're probably jumping too far into it. So. I wasn't like this when I first got into the war. I only did it afterwards. After you kill enough men, you kind of get a... You gotta find some coping mechanism. I've had ten years to part with it, but... It's kind of fun getting back in it. I feel young again. Maybe that's why I'm being so immature. I haven't swung a sword in ten years, and now I'm killing minotaurs. And dire bats, and vines, and... Actually, Alexander did that, but hey, don't listen to the DM from the void. He helped. And the DM disappears. He helped. <laughs> okay. Okay, so what do you guys do? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, but well, if we're going, and we're, and we're heading back out that way, look, we're going to need someone who can stay in our ass. I don't feel comfortable about heading back out there, too. But first, it's magical and can close in on us and everything. It probably has other crazy things out there. Without a medic of some sort, whether it be from Alexandria or someone else. So if we can get a healer, I'll go with... Well, there was a very friendly cleric here, but I doubt he can go. Alexandria is our best bet, but she's got to forgive me first and crawl out of her shell a little bit. Maybe you should apologize to her first and see if that helps. I, I lock eyes with Alexandria. You want a, a picture or something? I turn to Cassius. What do you think? What do you mean, what I think? <laughs> Would you come with? To where, Lockwood? No, back to get to the, go to the Minotaur. And then we're well, my jo- well, my job is to watch you guys, so, yeah. <laughs> Alright, sweet. Sounds like fun. I've already killed an hour. It's about noon. We make it there by nightfall. So, there we go camping. Oh, definitely gonna want a medic just in case, because you never know some creepy crawly crawl back into that cave. We we cut down a lot in there, and I think we we think we can handle whatever creepy crawly goes into that cave. I I almost died back there, and if I'm understand the situation, you know the story as it is. You're, you and, and Cassius had a bit of a fun time with the vines in that hallway. Yeah, but we got Alex here. We got nothing to worry about. Okay, so what happens if a gigantic axe comes out of nowhere for me again? Well, then you don't stand in front. <laughs> Look, Maybe to be it, honest, it, the Minotaur kind of surprised us. We didn't expect it to bash through a door. We were yeah, None of us were in a good position. That is very much true. And you were doing something with the bat, I couldn't tell what. Yeah, I was trying to swing the bat on top of it, then I realized it weighs over 200 pounds. Didn't really work out. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. You say something, Alexandria? She, if you've noticed the sign, she's just thinking inside her head. That was a nice store. <laughs> Which is funny, because player knowledge-wise, your characters have hated doors. Just saying. That characters? was more yours. <laughs> All right, well, I'm going to go talk to her. I bas- Yeah, I basically carry a door. That's <laughs> <laughs> a type of Reinhardt kicking through a door. No, that just because Reinhardt doesn't take shit from nobody, especially no fucking doors, fucking smug and shit, think you can hide shit from me? Fuck you. Didn't we break that door and call the yeah. crystals? Yeah, I like, Reinhardt did, and Reinhardt Penelope probably. wanted to, but it was already shattered in, so Penelope... Basically, Reinhardt and Penelope are... Bodacious blondes. I, really I, I nat 20 it off its hinges. <laughs> it was awesome. <laughs> I'm sorry, back it, to this campaign. Yeah, anyway. Okay. Anyway, I'm going to go talk to her. And I go up to Alexandria and I pull up a stool. Good fire, huh? <laughs> <laughs> you know, as much as you try, even your apologies suck ass. So can we just go... You know, actually, I'd like to not for once and actually talk to you if that's weird or not. I don't know. No, I've, I, I'm i not in the mood to talk. If we're going to go, can we get a move on? Lowengrin will be back by tomorrow. I kind of want to get this out of the way. 
Do you hate me? Is this is this how this is just going to go for the rest of the time we're together as a group? No, I follow you when you actually have those little epiphany moments when you actually act like an adult, but when you act like this, it's kind of hard. Yeah, that's the best we're going to get. All right, let's go. <laughs> so, yeah. uh, I go up to Matthew and ask if Fred can come with us. Matthew kind of considers you for saying it. Is the rest of the party there? Well, yeah. I, well, I don't know if they follow or not. Is but. everyone there? If Sarah is. He looks around. Cash is going to give uh, him this look of, I got this. All right. Yeah. Matthew actually makes a beeline for Cassius, and he hands over that third mirror. All right. Once again, in your group, you have two of these mirrors. Now, he looks at Mercer, and he looks at Alexander. If you want to pull pranks, use your own spells, use your own items. I don't know. Trip me with whatever. I'm a trip fighter. I get it. But do not use ancient relics that we have gifted to you for the sake of desperation to pull pranks like that. All right? All right. Okay? Yes, ma'am. I'm all about jokes, but not from ancient relics that were used for emergencies. That is not cool. Now, you talk big shot about all your war stuff and how you need to blah, blah, blah. I don't know. Lighten up or whatever. But you're also a soldier. I thought that was the case. And you know the importance of these, right? I do. And Matthew, and he looks only at a Alexander. when there's a war in front of me. And there's not right now. There's a camp full of guys who have been stale for far too long. He looks at Alexander. Now's not the time. Yeah, he ignores that last bit. He looks at Alexander. And he just nods. Well, you know, that was a really good performance. Hopefully next time, if it's a real emergency, it's actually real. Okay? Yeah. Ah. <sighs> You caught me on a bad day, I guess. Anyway, do your Minotaur thing and however you'd like. Are you guys going to come back and wait for Lohengrin still? Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's the plan. All right, then go for it. I lag back a bit when everyone leaves. Okay. And then when it's just Matthew and I. I'm Matthew. I'm serious about that. There's war, I'm serious, but it's not right now. You're I wouldn't gonna... say that. Are you? Do you have your sword in hand? Oh, sorry, your whip in hand right now, and there's an enemy in front of you? He kind of looks at you. Before you say anything. It's not just a battle. I hope you know that. I know. But... You're not sitting behind this desk either, so I suggest you just take your shit and go. Yeah, my word as a soldier, I'll be serious when it comes to you from now on. And that it comes serious when it comes to that relic. I know, but your word as a soldier doesn't really mean much if you come here as a jokester. So, I'll see you around, yeah? Just come back safe. Fair enough. Are you taking Freddy with you? If you'll allow it, it looks like he's itching to get out. Yeah, you know, he's one of our good ones. I'll keep him safe. Yeah. Plus then afterwards, I'm going to teach him how to use the sword properly. He seems pretty, uh, kind of like Bambi. <laughs> he kind of chuckles. He's just humble. He's actually a little better than you might expect. Then I look forward to playing with him a bit. All right. Phrasing. All right. Take out. Take care. See you in a few hours. Try to keep it quick, though. Uh, how how know. far is it player-wise, like, for us to get there and back? It's like half a day. Well, almost it's like... It's really not that far. Half a day and it's noon, which means we're going to get there and then it's going to be nighttime, right? Yeah. We're probably going to have to head back late, so expect uh, us to be in late hours. You know uh, the distance. Be careful with that forest. I highly suggest just making camp at the clearing south of that cave system. How far away was the cave system to the road? Sorry? How far away was the cave system to the road? Um, The cave system... Okay, here's the thing. The encampment is not near the road. Here, I'll bring you to the map and I'll show you oh, what's going on. Oh, okay, yeah, okay, I know what you're saying now. I'm saying about, like, if we travel the road to get to the cave system, will we get in the cave system? No, 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 I... okay, so basically the camp was basically here, yeah. okay? So it's not on the road. It's about a half a day away from the road. 
right at the edge of the clearing. Cave system is a little further than that. Make sense? Oh, okay. So we're, we'd be walking through the forest all day. Yeah. Unless, and then he's advising you that nearby you go and stay in the clearing because of the nighttime weird woodsy thing. Okay. Make sense? Yeah. We might just stay in the cave. Well, come to think of it, probably be easier. Right. Yeah, whatever you say. Whatever's closer. Is the clearing or the cave closer? Trisha. Sorry, say again? Is the cave or the clearing closer? Uh, to the camp, the clearing. Okay, then, yeah. We'll try to make it to the clearing. If we can't, we'll stay at the cave. Sounds good. All right. See you tomorrow morning. See you tomorrow morning. Best of luck, okay? Always. I don't fail. No, I'll call. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he kind of yells after you. Humility's a good thing. And he sends you on your way. Freddy is with you. Okay. And we travel. Yeah. So, anything happen while you guys travel? Let's double check. Do you guys go to the clearing first? Uh, I would assume so. Yeah, try to do the, the fastest, I think, actually, right? Clearing would be better. Alright, yeah. Eh, you guys walk through the clearing. I, 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 I will not know. No, bye. So you guys just basically walk half the day towards the cave systems. And it is starting to approach sunset. And we're near the cave? You're about... Yeah, you're close to the cave. We need to make it to the cave before sunset, otherwise we're going to have a hard time in this forest. Okay, well, let's, let's double time it. Aw, Alex, Alex is just like, oh. <laughs> Alexander, don't mind her. She's going to be angry, and eventually she'll open up. She's kind of the person she is. I met plenty of people like her before. I say that when I'm out of your shot of Alexandria, by the way. So about the draft. Yeah, it's about that draft. <laughs> so do we make it to the cave by nightfall? Yes, just as nightfall hits. Um, Probably best we camp down there anyway, considering uh, it's going to be the only space with all these trees getting all clumped up. Um, quick question about it. Do you, are the bats still down here? Do you the think? what? The bats? I'm asking the party. Maybe. Mm, okay. Yay. Another chance to kill them off. Food. Alright. Light sources. Food. What do you guys eat? What do you guys light? Who, what, uh, where, why, when? I light up a torch. Ration. Um, ration and torch. Yeah, ration and... Do you guys want me to light up my quarterstaff again? I got my torch. Maybe save your spells. We have a long night. Okay. Do you, do you think there's an opening? Do, you, do we notice any like openings in the ceiling that head up? Out, out of the cave? No, not the ceiling. Okay, so making a fire, actually, as a, making a campfire is not well advised. Well, was there, is it when we entered the cave and, like, the with the leaves, and, with the forest and stuff, is it possible to sleep at the mouth of the cave? Yeah. Okay. We can always sleep at the mouth of the cave at the end, end of the day after we just get through here. Maybe light up your, your torch as well. Your, your staff. staff? You yeah. just say one. Let's do it now. It shouldn't be too hard to get through here. We know the path. Okay. So. Yeah, light sources. You, if you have light sources, it should be fine. Yeah, I'm going to cast light on quarterstaff. Okay. Okay. I, uh, I'll lead the way. And I, I do the thing where I lead the way. Tell me when to stop if, like, there's an ambush of some kind or... Yeah, I get to here, open the door, I stop before the slide... All right, you guys. Uh, you think you can get past it? Just fine. Have, Sarah uh, will have to roll balance checks. Uh, I can only stick to one side. I can't do that weird crab walk thing that you did. All right, here, everyone, back up outside the door real quick, and and I pull out my rope and I I anchor it to part of the door again, and then I do the scuttle walk thing across. Okay. Um, till I'm standing right here. One hundred followers. Yes. 
We have well, reached a shit. new record. Oh, we did? Really? Damn. Was your time? Da, 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 da. So, yeah, 100 followers. Dude, JoJo's yeah, so fucking yeah. popular. JoJo's the most sweet. popular guy in the world. Fuck oh, JoJo. Congrats, dude. Good job, guys. Good job, JoJo. Nice. Good, good, good shit. So good, so good. Such good. Okay. Uh, I pulled the rope taut. All right, use that to get across. Okay, so do uh, do I get any bonuses because I'm going to be using the rope as kind of like a safety net? At this point, you can just take a 10 because of the rope and such. You're fine. Bloop. Now remember not to go in that door over there. If you walk too far forward, that fungus will make you pass right out, Sarah. I was in, I was in that room along the wall. I remember that room. Yeah. I know, I'm just saying... If, yeah, yeah. I was the only you, one that felt uh, it. Mercer, you wouldn't know it would make her pass out. You just know it affects you greatly. It makes you feel cold. Well, I know, I'm, but she's frail. Not that frail. Poor, poor choice of words. You, you are not on your game with words today. Well, no, she's a, she's like the most womanly, non-armored character. She's the only one not wearing armor. Yeah, but you wouldn't know it would make her pass out. It's a hunch. Meta. I can't have a hunch. You can say it'll affect you greatly. You don't know if it'll pa make her pass out because what the extent you felt for sure was, oh, I felt cold. I mean, you can have a hunch, but you have to be from Notre Dame. Uh, <laughs> 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 hey, Esmeralda, don't go in that door. It's in America. It's Notre Dame. Okay, I'll realize Dame. it. Sorry, Notre be careful. Dame. If, you Dame. Get too, if you get too close to that, it might affect you. Okay, that was okay. Is that better? Uh, I'm, I'm letting you go in there. You have a torch your own. I'm I'm gonna go. You know, do you want to camp out by the water, by the well? You know, in the back. Do you want to camp out by the door? We probably should camp by the mouth of the cave. It's the only place we're gonna be able to get a fire going. Okay. Do we want a fire going? Probably. Where's Cassius? Hey, hey, Cassius Clay. Did what? he stay near the gate? Da 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 da. Okay. He's in a wall. He does. So I'm just oh like, no, Cash I was always here. <laughs> okay, I leave the rope, like the big coil of rope, like right here where I'm standing. Okay. okay, I'll leave this here. We don't think we really need it. Along the way, you see some rats scurrying, some bats fluttering, but nothing like as threatening as it was before. So, uh, let's go. Yeah, let's do the Minotaur first. Yeah, it smells like decay. And you can see that rats and insects, um, there's like a layer of like just maggots at the rib area. And it's just, it looks gross. Bad it fantastic. smells rank. Hey, Alexander, didn't you want to, see, you know, didn't, weren't you questioning what it tasted like? Yeah, I wouldn't advise that. Cause, cause it doesn't I look like he's completely decomposed, but you can tell things are starting to nibble. Hey, sir, do you have any sort of magic thing that could potentially clean this? Uh, well, I, by I mean, clean, do you mean black into a crisp? <laughs> no, as in like, I don't know, magic. Just use your torch and light them all on fire. No, as in the sense of like, when I get some of these bones out, I'm gonna need something to clean it. I mean, I, I, can, you, I can put some acid on it, but that might bleach the bone. Basically, what I'm getting at is press digitation. <laughs> I know, but she doesn't know what you're trying to get at. Oh, okay. Because you're just going to clean it, clean it, <laughs> clean it. Sander's so cute. All right, you have no, you have no magic way of, of actually being able to clean things or to to wipe blood or well, dirt. Yeah, I, I can get that stuff off as long as I don't, you know, I can, I can do stuff like that, I guess. So you can clean it. Well, it don't... <laughs> like clean? Do you mean like scrub off? Like, do I have any magic to like cleanse it and get all the maggots off of it and make it without it so it's not like I'm amazed yeah, like, you all haven't asked for soap and water. Yeah, like, do you want me to disinfect it or did you want? No, me no, to just get to some of like everything. Get some of like the grime and stuff off it because there's gonna be organs when I pull these bones out. Yeah, she's yeah, just gonna I, be I, leaning against the wall. I, I can, I can do that. I guess. Yeah, sure. All right. 
But I mean, ne- next time don't say clean because I'm thinking, you know, maybe get like some water in and like scrub it off or something. Oh no, I was I was talking about like magic ways to do it, and that's that's why I mentioned magic. Well, magic water. I mean, the, the Alexandria, you know, from my understanding, she put water on a web. Okay, I guess I really suck at communication. That's that's what I think yeah, I'm getting JoJo. at here. Is I just really suck at communication. Yes, Jojo. Yeah. Alright. Oh, Ooh. don't don't prepare a fire in here. We don't have Do enough you? way to to ventilate the smoke. Do you prepare a fire or? We stop him if he tries. Yeah. We don't we don't have a way to ventilate the smoke. It's not good. We'll we'll pass out in here and die. Trisha, is there any part of the Minotaur that looks edible, like even slightly? The whole thing is edible. Uh, that's not covered in rotten maggots. Oh well, no. I mean, it's a it's a dead carcass that's been sitting there for a day and a half. Yeah. Do you think purified food and drink would work on this or not? Yes. If you cut, you know, as a cleric, that if you cut meat out, you can purify it. Yes. Uh, okay. Um. Would someone? Okay. What do you guys want to eat? Thigh, rib, or hoof? You want to eat maggot meat? Don't, don't, don't think I don't know what I'm doing. No, I'm just answering the damn question. Do you want to eat this or not? If, if uh, no, can. I'm good. It looks really gamey. It's like eating a, a sheep. Like, you eat lamb, you don't eat a sheep. Uh, we've been eating, I've been eating my ration all day, so why don't, why don't we try to, you know, take some of the food if you can, since I'm trying to trust you that you know what you're doing, and take it to go for tomorrow since we're going to be overnight and it's uh, tomorrow most likely. I'm pretty sure if I can purify a festering water system in a dank town, I can fix some meat. You know, I did that with the, the ale, right? Yeah, yeah, you did. Had nothing to do with my magic. At all. That was Not an so. entire mountain worth of runoff water. There's no way your magic could do all that. Could it says you. That? Now again. Would you like to try this or not? Well, considering I'm the only one with a knife, yeah, I'll do it for you. Uh, I have a, I have a dagger as well. Yeah. But, you know, c'est la vie, right? I'm going to be cleaning bones and organs for you for some reason. What do you, what do you even need this for? Something I'll show well. you. I'll make something for you. It's called a scrimshaw. Cassius knows a lot more about it. So if you wanna, he, can, he can tell you while I work. His head is also partially through a wall at this point. I'm leaning. Yeah, that's his character leaning. Or climbing into the foresty green. <laughs> it smells like evergreen back here. It smells, it smells like like hentai about to happen. Anyway, I'm going to start cutting out some. I'm going to actually... Alexander, you know a lot more about the bodies and you were a combat medic. Can you help me cut out this bo- these bones? I can show you where to cut and what to cut. I can't cut it for you. Well, of course, that's what I was going to do. I just need your help. Um, would you mind sawing off both horns while you're at it? Well, the blade's not going to do really well for horns, but in my scrimshaw kit, I might have something that could help refine the cut before I actually make a big cut with the dagger. Okay, just so if we can get it back to camp, or if anyone has a saw... Wait, where the hell's Fred? Fred is not on the map, but he's probably with us. Okay. Fred is actually exploring. Wait, where's Fred? (laughs) Oh my, that's exactly what I just, oh if, my if fucking god. If Fred was wait, wait. exploring, then I would have gone with him. Oh, you're not staying with the party? It's one of those, if Fred's wandering off, then I have to watch him. Okay, then let me go ahead and put a token down. I am a superior officer, I have to this watch is him. This is just a generic token that I'm using, so. This is Fred. Say hi, Fred. So he's, hey, wandering, hey, hey. he's wandering around in the dark? That is true, he doesn't have a light. That is adventure. Why not? He has a torch. He actually brought his backpack. Oh, okay, so he and doesn't he have... actually looks pretty well equipped. Hmm. Alright. So, okay, so Cassius and, and, and Fred aren't with us. Hey, uh, Alex, can, can you travel with them and just make sure everything's good with them? I mean, big with a sword and all. You want to take my torch? You know, we have my quarter staff here. We, we should have enough light. Yeah. Okay. So he walks off. Um, 
Alexander and I start cutting away this like the horns carefully, using a micro saw from the uh, the scrimshaw kit and the dagger, and then getting the bones out. Taking twenty, just trying to do the take time and get the the two femurs out, and then the the two parts of the arm, like where the, I guess where the bicep is, a long. Alexander part of and Cassius, roll me listen checks. Oh, no. <laughs> Bad news, bears. Kay. No more spiders. Okay. Yeah. Um, Alexander Cassius, um, you both hear the sound of a light. You almost want to say it's a giggle, like a feminine giggle. And immediately after this light feminine giggle from somewhere in the room. It's not really clear where. It just kind of echoes through. Um, Freddy kind of looks around and goes, what was that? I look at Fred and I say, draw your weapon now. Cash oh my gosh. Pulls Cash just pulls out his knife. He's like, uh, spider bitch, I thought we killed you. Freddy was not that loud. If you want to roll listen checks, it's kind of hard. To- do, do, we, do we hear him yelling out, I thought we killed you. I don't know. That's up to Cassius. How loud are you, Cassius? I'm are saying you... that's audible enough for the entire room. I'm okay. going to roll a listen check. Roll a listen check. It's kind of hard because, the uh, I don't know, you might have closed the door behind you guys. Nope. Wow, my rolls suck. Just like your scrimshaw! <laughs> okay, Alexandria and Sarah, you hear it. Um, this holler. Okay, put that down. We looks like we have to go help him. Yep, we do. Uh, I must have found something. I thought we killed everything. I think something could have crawled back in here. Uh, this is not what I said when we're out walking. Oh, what a pain! Yeah. I pull out up. Yeah, okay. Actually, down. Oh, and that's before we got to clean anything too. What's, okay. what's going on in here? We heard a giggle. I think it was a giggle. Is it that spider bitch? What spider bitch? Spider bitch. Spider. Oh, just some spider woman that can. I don't know. It was weird. Uh, Mercer, you do not know it was a woman. Oh, we're just some spider creature. <sighs> don't worry, Freddy. It's nothing to really be worried about. Where exactly did you hear it from? Point to the direction. He kind of just points in every direction. <laughs> Can you point me in a specific direction, Trisha? No, you heard the same thing. It echoed throughout the room. Mm. It came from everywhere and nowhere at once, which is the weirdest phenomenon. That sounds like that sounds like a good. I'm gonna stare at the most obvious thing, which would be the altar. Okay, where do you look in the altar? Oh no, this big boopity thing right there. <laughs> it really you look at the big boopity thing. The big boopity thing. Yes. Approach okay. the altar. So wait, so if you guys are hearing things, is it because we possibly brought the mirrors back to the altar we dragged them from? Maybe. So you look at the big boopity thing. thing. There's nothing on the big boopity thing. Roll me spot checks or search checks. Uh, I'll accept either or. Everyone. Okay. Oh. <laughs> nope. Damn, my checks suck. I have the eyes of you the too. night hawk. Anyone else want to do a check? Yeah, so spot or search? Spot or search, I'll accept either or, because you're looking for something, or you might catch something. It's acceptable. I have the cautiest. I have caught it. Yeah, there. Cassius, definitely you see it. I have <laughs> down ready to throw. Okay. okay anyone else? Is that everyone? I think that's everyone. All right. All right. Uh, it doesn't look like... What's his face? Uh, Freddy can see it, but Cassius, you do see a hazy reflection in the water. It looks to be like a dark shape of a woman. And then as soon as you do see it, it vanishes. Does anyone see anything? Cassius is going to walk up to the water and stick his blade in. What are you doing? Reflection fight bullshit. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It, nothing. You send ripples throughout the water. He's gonna like keep his blade cheap, but he's gonna, you know, take a step back right there. 
I saw the reflection of a woman in the water. Cassius? A woman? You roll me a listen check. Oh, God. <laughs> uh. Okay, you don't hear anything. I go near the water and I look down and do it. Okay. Do you want to roll another spotter search? No, I'm just gonna talk. I guess if like I if I can, I'm just gonna like. You want to roll for a new character? Crazy <laughs> people. So I'm just gonna say that there's some form of spirit. So I'm just like looking around this thing. I'm not like I'm looking at the water and then I look around here. I'm just gonna assume there's some form of Windian spirit or something like that in this shrine. Say anything if I'm correct or. I don't. I don't think they have those. <laughs> It's the Windians. They they had we don't no one knows anything about them. They could have gigantic machines or could be as docile as you know like a bunny. No one I don't know. They are one for things certain. They're supposed to be dead. They're supposed to be dead. Um and they apparently the have dead many cars. We have seventeen and likes on our Facebook page. Nice. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> so apparently whether or not we know what they have we know that their temples, or caves, have vines, bats, and a minotaur in them, as well as fungus. And occasional spiders. And occasional spiders. Roll me one more listen check, everyone. Yeah. Right. I wasted all my good checks on my ass. Did everyone roll? Yep. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, yes. Okay. Uh, nothing. Yeah, I think there's still something in here. I feel like we missed something important. Well, do we want to... Well, Cassius just goes, Well, this usually works. He's just going to run and jump into the water. <laughs> <laughs> you go, Chris, splash. Um, oh. Cassius, you hear the soft sound of a giggle as well. And then it's gone as it vanished. And it's, it's, it's gone as soon as it came. Look, Cassius, if there's a spirit in there, you're really going to piss it off. Well, I heard giggling again, so I'm definitely doing something right. <laughs> He's just oh. kind of gonna like splash around in the water a bit. Giggling? Are we talking like the ha ha he he? You know, we're having fun playtime giggling, or are we talking about I'm gonna eat your brains giggling? Like, I it, sounds like a, it sounds like a muffled like. <laughs> okay, so definitely sociopathic. Sounds like, this, sounds like this girl that I once used to know. I draw my sword. He's just gonna splash around in the water a bit, still holding his head, just like, woo! <laughs> yeah, I don't trust right. this. If you keep doing that, Cassius, let me look at something really quick. Yeah, you're gonna keep doing that. You're gonna keep doing that. Alright. You do hear slight whispers in your ear. <laughs> it's, however, it's not a language you understand. There's a you problem got with the call. I think someone got dropped. Cassius is gonna. Is there? Did someone get dropped on the call? Pablo, let's, let's pause for Pablo. a second. Let Pablo, why? Yeah, I heard the Skype sound, and this sounds important. Don't want to miss it. Yeah, so we'll wait for the Pablos. So them seventeen likes though. Yeah, okay. but uh, Cassius, I'm pretty sure like he he hears something, but he doesn't understand what it's saying, right? Yep, it's definitely trying to talk to him. Okay. Can we take this time to say thank you to this, the follow followers and watchers and likers on our Facebook page? Yes, absolutely, guys. Thank you so much. Like John said, Ooh. that 17 likes, though. That 17 likes, though. That's and like a few of you followers. I don't know, really. So that's really cool. Yeah. Let's look. Yeah, Thanks I don't know. Thanks, everyone, for watching. Thank you, guys. Mm -hmm. thank now you. we're going to close out. Just kidding. <laughs> Oh, no, are you guys dude. tired? We can't. Oh, no, we have two, total, two hours, hours left. I was totally kidding. I'm just saying if you want. He's just being, he's just being a tease. Yeah. Pablo! Uh, he dropped entirely. I'm giving him a recall. Boop, 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 boop. Maybe it's his internet because he's been having a... Yeah, maybe his brother disconnected it again. Because that's what he was saying. His brother disconnected it, changed the password. Oh, nope, I think it connected. Pablo? Yeah, back. There you Perfect. go. I'm actually pretty happy that the stream has been uh, intact so far. Yeah. Ah, Knock on wood. Yes. Wind hasn't knocked it out yet. Knock on wood. Alright, All right, so what is. is the last thing you heard, Pablo? 
Um, if you keep splashing in the... <laughs> I can't- I, I keep splashing in the water. And I'm- and... When I hear that thing, I'm gonna say in Elvin, uh... I'm gonna say in Elvin, I'm sorry, I didn't catch that. <laughs> There's no reply. I speak in Elvin to, to Cassius. Does it know Elvin? Is it telling you stuff in Elvin? I, 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 you know that whatever it was saying, it was not Elvin. I say back to him in Engl in common. No, definitely not Elvin. <laughs> well, Alexander's you know gonna Dwarven? take a step forward and honestly say, "Well, this is a holy place." So she's gonna say something in Celestial. Ask, "What are you? And are you friendly?" Roll me a listen check. Just Who? you. Alexandria. Ooh! You hear this loud and clear, not loud and clear, but like as if she's right next to you. Almost as if she's right next to you. And she is speaking celestial. Okay. What are you doing here? Nothing really, just harvesting some medicinal items, I suppose. Do you, you say this in all in celestial, right? Of course. Medicinal items? Won't yeah. you put some of my flowers here? Okay. Thank you. My name's Alexandria, by the way. Oh, it's so good to meet you. Were you the one making all the giggling noises? She giggles again. Obvious. <laughs> yeah, kind of. Are you Cash introducing yourself? Yeah, she's going to get out of the water. <laughs> so, what are you doing here? You know, you don't mind me asking. This is my home. Mm. So, a domain. A domain, you say? Well, not that I don't want to be intruding or, say, prying, but if I may ask, what exactly are you? Because you don't seem to be anything earthly. She kind of giggles again. That's a secret. Well, it is one I will gladly keep. And I do thank you for your flowers. They are very lovely. You know, there was a broom closet at the beginning of my temple. You There's... should go in there and take one of the vines. Thank you. That's very gracious of you. Just keep it a secret, okay? I swear by Pelor, I shall keep that a secret. And then the voice doesn't reply. Kasha says, Uh, what was that? <laughs> Did you introduce yourself? You said your own name. I said a great many things, but that's not to be worried about right now. You did Would say you your mind? name, though. Unless... Yes, I did. But again, nothing to be worried about. Just trust me on this. We're not going to be hearing back from her, and she is a very, very lovely person. Now help me pick some flowers, will you? Cash is going to pick the flowers and put them in his hair. Okay. Oh, so pretty. <laughs> mm -hmm. I guess... Yeah, I go to the altar and I do the, uh... I, I, whatever the Palor equivalent of, like, the Catholicism, like, cross thing. Okay. You do Paylor, that. Palor, hey yeah, And I go here <laughs> and get... And pick up some flowers myself. Okay, so we're picking the flowers. Are we making a flower um, circlet for her? No, just um, gathering some flowers and I'm going to put them in my bag. Are we allowed to go back to the Minotaur? Yes, we are. Okay. Well, this is really weird. Uh, okay, I'm not going to lie. It, it, like, just... I, 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 uh, I, I, I don't know how to phrase this, but she's going to look around. Are you all freaked out a little bit that I said that or that I can speak that? No. Both? <laughs> huh. Yeah. I probably should have brought that up, but I, I kind of do speak a little bit of, um. God. <laughs> <laughs> I speak God. Well, Excuse me, I speak Alexandria. God. Let's just take this as my first step of trusting you and just letting you do your own thing. To put it plainly, I do speak the language of the church. I'll leave it at that. Okay. You speak Oaxacan? <laughs> Not that church. 
For, oh. for God's sake, sheath your sword. Well, who's okay. sword? Okay! It's fine. She spoke celestial to it. Which means it can't harm you. It can't? Why not? It's good. Because it's a good creature. Okay. And good creatures don't harm innocent people. We're not exactly innocent in the temple. Are you innocent, Freddy? Or do you have something to say? Yeah, Cash is going to come up to him it, with the head full of prayers. Yeah, Freddy, you fucking up. <laughs> I, 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 guys, I, guys, not the right I, he just uh, He just pats Fred on his head and he's like, I'm just fucking with you. Come on, man. Come on, it's <laughs> okay. totally fine. Let's just, we'll explore and then I'll show you around the cave. Except there's a room. Don't go in. I'll point to it on the way out. Come on. And as we're leaving, I point to the this door. Cash is gonna kick open this door and say, "There's a fungus among us." <laughs> <laughs> All right, Alexander, let's get that stuff. So okay. I take it we take this time to carve off the meat, the bones, the horns, the face. You know, the huge. I'm gonna Go cast prestigitation. Prestigitation. You know what? I'm not gonna bother anymore. It's, it's gonna be. I'll cast that spell, and we're gonna fucking clean shit. Oh. I can't say that apparently. With your angst. No, no, no. See, it's not angst with her. It's more like moon blooding. I know you guys are going to get really annoyed of me saying this, but 19 views. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> no, it's so worth 19 it. 19 likes, I mean. 19 li likes, views. Did we discuss how much weight four large monster bones have? No, but Let's you're going to need Let's just assume me. it's a lot. Well, and we're we averaging more it than that. Can we just well, say that? I'm just yeah. cleaning it as it rests on the floor. I'm not picking it up. So that's all of it, then I can carry yeah, I'm using I'm using that spell to clean the bones on the floor, but without picking them up. Yeah, of course. Do I get my horns, or are we going to do that back at camp? It's probably, you know, there's probably a saw back at camp that would be much easier to use, and it would it would hold the integrity of the entire horn. Okay, so are we done? Uh, no, we should need, we need to get some of the fungus in that room over here. Okay, well... I got the jar. Oh, Excellent. While you do that, I'm going to start heading back. There's something I want to whoa, 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 whoa. investigate. Alexandria? Okay, wait, just can you wait Should here we? for like 10 Should minutes while I do this? Alexandria, do you need a company? Um, actually, I would like Jeff and Sarah to come with me. Oh, okay. Not gonna, Jeff, not gonna like... Consider like he's been betrayed. Alexandria, just, just to be honest, we split the party up when we fought here down here last time. And uh, Cassius almost died if it wasn't for Alex. We shouldn't okay. split the party up anymore. Well, let me stop you there. There was no this we. That was you two. I'm not blaming Cassius. Secondly, I spoke to the thing. We're fine. If you said you're going to trust me, then trust me on this. We'll be fine. Cassius Are you doing something me. for it? Doesn't blame me. It's not exactly for it, but this is her domain. And she gave me her word. Now again, I'm going to go on a limb and trust her. And hope you can go out on a limb and trust me. Wait a minute, what do you mean this is her domain? This is her... Like, this is domain. her temple? I mean, not her temple, but she seems to have some form of connection here. Now again, she said everything was fine. So again, let's just leave things be. Why well, should we leave the fungus? Um, no. I did tell her we were gathering medicinal supplies. She didn't seem to have any qualms about that. Okay, I guess... Okay, yeah. I'm gonna go get the fungus. Yeah, and I guess Sarah's gonna accompany Alexandria. I'm gonna... So the quick... Before you do that, the way I'm gonna do this is I'm gonna set the... the jaw, like, on the ground. And then I'm gonna use the sword at, like, the, the very tip, like, extent, fully extended since there's a large category, to get a small amount of it, and then, like, hey, Jojo, spatula it over... Can you put the, uh, the view of the temple on the twitchy, twitchy, twitch? Oh yeah, it's it's still the. Just so like our viewers can see. Oh shit! I didn't know it was on thumbnail. My bad. No problem. On second thought, Alexander's gonna come back and say, "You know what? You're right. I don't think I would trust you two here alone." <laughs> I t I push her behind me. I'm like I'm not letting her go past me. Or at least we switch places because the way I'm doing this is like I set the the jar down, and then I use the the tip of the sword, and then I'm like move it over like to the jar, and then I like shake it off into the jar. Do you want help moving that stuff? We can't get near it. Um, so what is, explain to me exactly how you do it. So, okay, so I set the jar on the ground. About okay, 10 where? Feet away Which square? Me. So, like, here. Okay, you set it here. Yeah. Okay. Here, I'll, I'll do draw shape. 
eh, this is a jar. And okay. then I use the sword, eh. and then I like I go, I extend the sword all the way, like I'm fully extended, and I cut into some the fungus with the tip of the sword. And then, like if this was my sword, I know it's not actually ten feet. This is just a rough representation. I then move the sword to the jar, and I put stuff in the jar. Let me roll. The jar rolls. It's a, it's a mason jar though, right? So like it's flat. It's. It's made out of glass, and it rolls. Okay, okay. Wait, so can it stand upright? Yes, it can stand upright. So, oh, so it, are you scooping it? Yeah. Okay. Like, okay. Think of it this way. Think of, like... So the, you're not sliding it into the jar. You're scooping it into the jar. Yes. And you like, have a 10-foot reach? Well, I don't think it's, like, with the, the arm, my arm fully extended, and the sword fully extended. I don't know if it's full 10 feet, but, like, I'm doing my damn best to make trying to get like that. Right, you can get a very little amount yeah and I just do that as much as I can to fill the jar okay. do, do, do you, I can pick it up from a few feet away and move it in for you without touching it how can you do that the same way I clean the bones yeah if you can fill the jar up I'll move out of the way so that Sarah can stand up there can, can you, you move the jar closer because I'm going to stand where you are and as you said this thing could affect me so Mercer, you do is- know to wipe off your blade somewhere before you bring it close to you, right? Yeah, like, I'm not letting them pass me without being cautious. Okay. So I'll wipe it on the battle poncho. Like, I'm shaking it off so it's just, like, nothing on the sword. And then I'll bring okay. it in and wipe it. So Sarah, Sarah's just going to use pre- the, that spell and fucking fill up the jar. Slowly, because it's only a pound at a time. But, you know, pound's okay. not too bad. Can you use this lid? Just close the jar. Uh, maybe. I can at least set it on top of it. Okay, and then can you clean the, uh, the jar from, like, not have any more spores on it? I'll try. I mean, I'm not going to guarantee anything. It's okay. I'm going to be the one approaching it to close it. So, and I, I handled it before. I think I can handle it again. Cool. Yeah. So, I do that as best as I can. Okay, do I successfully fine. close the lid, and do I successfully... So how many prestidigitation spells do you use today? It says only one la- one lasts an hour, and I can use it with anything within 10 feet, so... Okay. I, so I take it one? Give me one second, will you? Sure, maybe two? One for the bones, one for this thing? Yeah, that makes sense. I mean, it's an hour per use. Yeah. I think you have to stay concentrated to continue casting it, though. I remember when August... Yeah, I'm it, looking it up right now. When August mm-hmm. used it, it was like you had to stay concentrated. Once cast a prestidigitation... <laughs> that word. That yeah. Prestidigitation. Anyway, once cast a prestidigitation spell enables you to perform simple magical effects for one hour. The effects are minor and have severe limitations. A prestidigitation... Prestidigitation can slowly lift one pound of material. It can color, clean, or soil items in a one-foot cube each round. It can chill, warm, or flavor one pound of non-living material. It cannot deal damage or affect the concentration of spell casters. Prestidigitation can create small objects, but they look crude and artificial. The materials created by blah, 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 blah. Or fragile. The actual change characters. Blah, 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 blah. Hey, I'll accept it. One spell is good enough for me. Okay, so one spell. Yep. And do I successfully close the lid, or can I not do that with the spell? Hmm? Do I successfully you can, you close won't the be able to. You'll be able to place the lid back onto the jar. But I can't. I won't be able to, like, twist it shut. Probably not. I'll okay. allow you to clean the outside. Fair enough. Let's do it. Mm-hmm. Bang. Okay. And then I approach it after she's, like, I get her out of the way, and then I mm-hmm. close the jar myself. I'm initially very cautious approaching the jar. Are you holding a torch? Um, I'm oh, sure we were swapping it out between like. The no, no. Are you or are you not holding a torch, Mercer? Alexander. At the moment, I'm holding the torch. You are. And when she passes me, I give her the torch so I could go do it. Well, I have okay. my quarterstaff of light. Yeah, then that's the case. It'd like be on the ground or something like that. Okay. Okay. All right. You approach the jar. Like carefully, and then I quickly shut it. Yep. And then. Is that it? Like, I'm fine? Now you have a jar full of mold. Fungus. Mold fungus. Fungus mold. Alright, let's hope that this works. And I I put the mason jar of... What should I call that? 
I don't know. Fungus Among Us. Mason Jar of Cold Fungus. You can call it Jar of Spunk. <laughs> jar of Spunk. Works. Mason Jar of Spunk. Capital Spunk. Boom. One pound. One pound of spunk. <laughs> All right. And I, I kind of hold it closer to me and see if I get the chills as it gets closer or something like that. Being careful with it, of course. Is it screwed on? Yeah, it's screwed on. Then no. Sweet. All right. I got a jar of mold. I got a jar of mold. So this jar of mold thing will be pretty useful. Why is it going to be useful? Well, when I approached the mold last time, I, a chill went down my body, and it, I mean, it's, I'm a pretty hardy guy, and it made, I, I, if I was weaker, I probably could have fallen to it. Like, just absolutely just collapsed. Basically, so you can use it as a last ditch resort to escape an area, make an enemy for, you know, cold, you know, get too cold to chase us. Something. Well, it's so cold that it almost made me shiver just by approaching it. If we smash this in a room full of just people to, as a distraction, we could have them all just like huddle up and shiver on the ground. We can go into that room. Like it, I don't know. It seems like it could have some use. Okay, fair enough. We just got to smash the jar and the spores. I think are what caused it. It doesn't like I held it up to me earlier and it, it didn't do anything. So, I mean, I don't. Know, I think it sounds like it's a useful thing to own. Okay. Um. Uh, cool. So, what's the next thing? Um, Alexandra, you said you wanted to have myself and Jeff go for a broom closet. Is she even here? No, she's not. She <laughs> looks around and she's been like, God damn it. She can't friggin' walk off like that. But it's okay. But around this time, after I've, you know, finished speaking to the fountain, I'm pretty sure you guys can hear me because I'm the only thing speaking goddamn celestial. She's like, I'm in here. I'm, I'm coming out. You find anything useful in there? Um, aside from what I would assume is a friend, nothing else really. Okay, so why did you want us to go to the, the, where did you want us to go? You wanted Jeff and I to go with you? Well, no, I assume we're done with what we need to do in the cave, correct? We've gathered what we needed? Yeah, uh, let me hold the rope. Okay, let's just uh, head out. Right. Take a ten. I pull the rope tight so everyone can cross. Take a ten. Okay, yep, Freddy does the same. He's actually tall enough to shimmy. Okay. And after everyone's over, I collect the rope and we head towards the front. Oop. I'll never come out! <laughs> Alexandria <laughs> actually makes a detour into this closet that apparently no one decided to open when we first got in here. We did. You guys actually did. Ooh. That was well, the first thing I'd check traps on. Mm -hmm. So, there are vines on the wall, I take it, Trisha? Yeah. Okay, so... Before anyone says anything, and I, I'm, this is just out of character, she's going to look around, and are there any of them that are loose? Yes. Okay, well, before I even pick them up, I'm going to say in Celestial, now I come unto thee, because I've spoken to the master of your domain. She simply said that I could collect a few of you, whether you be sentient or not, and I am here just to collect a few for medicinal purposes. I thank you for what you have given us, and may Pelor be with you. Pick up a couple of vines, put it in my bag, back out very slowly. You actually and close hear the a door. giggle when you pick up the vines, and you hear the whisper, the same whisper, female, um, tell you, Do you have my flowers? Yes, I do. Do you have my vines now? Yes, I do. I want you to keep those, okay? I. Promise? And I want you to get one cup, no more, no less, of water from Miracle Falls. And I want you to mix them together, okay? Okay. And the voice doesn't respond. Ha. Huh. I, I take it I'm the only one that heard that? I mean, we're listening and we hear you speaking celestial. You, are, you only hear Alexandria speaking celestial. Alexandria, all the words that were just said to you were in Celestial. Ah, but they didn't hear it. It was directed only to me. Only to you. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Gonna close the door now. What was that about? Um, I'm a little spooked. Uh, no, no. It's actually quite a joyous occasion. But in fact, I do now have a new area I need to go explore. But we'll save that for another day. We've come what we needed, so let's uh, head out for the cave. What'd you get in there? Uh, just a couple of uh, herbal 
properties that I needed. Did you got leaves and vines and roots, I take it? You were brave enough to grab a vine after what happened to Mercer and Cassius? Well, not saying that it's not the right thing to do, because everyone should always be on guard when in unfamiliar territory, but again, my way is the less aggressive one. And again, for some odd reason, I was hearing something in Celestial, if you couldn't hear me talking to it. Uh-huh. You know what we heard? It, you know you carry a shield, you hit people with. Like, the whole purpose of that shield is to hit people. Actually, it's to defend people. I only hit people when I get upset. And for some reason, you lot have a good habit of making me upset. That or when you guys get in trouble. Because I do I care you about you. you upset. Yeah. So again, uh, let's just head out. Less time we spend here, the better. Uh, weren't we going to make uh, set camp at the mouth of the cave? Or a temple? Yeah, we can't really travel through the woods if you remember correctly. Alexander. Well, I'm pretty if sure recall, the map of the cave is up the staircase. You, um, if you guys recall, up the staircase, and it's like about a five-minute walk to the mouth of the cave. Okay. Just reminding uh, you. Okay. 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 So, you guys do the thing? Yep, to the mouth of the cave. Okay. Um, you guys just make camp at the mouth of the cave? Mm-hmm. All right. So... And then we, we roll. Can... Ah, okay. So yeah, what do you guys do? Do you guys just sleep? Yeah. I take it we start a fire. Yeah. Start a fire. Set up watch. Do the well, roll. I know you guys were a little hesitant, but I did blow off quite a bit of steam on our little herbal gathering, and I feel like if you're at least adventurous enough in the culinary sense, I am able to purify enough of this minotaur meat so that we can at least. Try it. I'm not saying it might taste the best, but hey, we have something to jot down in our books that we've done. Yeah, sounds good to me. Okay. Purify all the cow. Acceptable. Okay. And the first piece does go to Alex, because he really wanted to try it. So let's, let's serve him the first piece. Would you like some calf, some rib, or some hoof? How do you cook this? I assume over the fire. Okay. Yeah, you guys can. You guys can have. I'm not interested. Not that I don't trust your cooking. Just. Well, believe oh, yeah, me. No, ca- uh, yeah, no. Cash is gonna eat. The, it is not gonna eat that. Valid point. Alright, Alexander, you take a bite, and, well, after the purification, it's just solid meat. It's a little, uh, a little on the tough and stringy side. Like, you can tell this is super lean, but soup, like, it's really rough. It's a little on the gamey side, but, hey, it's filling. And it is meat, and, hey, you're not gonna die from it. And it doesn't taste all that bad. It's more the texture than anything. But now you can say that you ate Minotaur. Cross that off your bucket list, Alexander. Congratulations, Alexander. You're now some form of barbaric. Yeah, I think I'm going to go for a rib myself. Just because I guess I can try that. Yeah, it tastes like, you know, the same kind of texture, the toughness. Not the one with the strongest small compass, but that's a sentient creature you're eating. Well, it was. It was. Ah, fuck it, I shouldn't talk. I just took its bones. And, it's, and it's, think think about it Think about it this way. What would be worse, letting a beautiful creature like that go to waste and decay, or at least recycling it back into what would be the grand circle of life? It's better than letting it eaten up by maggots. Definitely make it sound a lot prettier than the fact that we killed it. <laughs> yeah. Oh. I, th- I, think it, I think it got what it deserved with, that, with its death. Okay, just saying. Well, if anything, we did it in a very respectful manner. So, again, so long as that it's done in good respect instead of hubris or bad intentions, I think it's okay. Dude, killing it because it came and tried oh. to, you know, kill us. Alexander! Kind of intentions. <laughs> yes, Alexander, we did it together. Oh, no, we're a pretty good team. I'm sorry that I've been kind of a jackass. Yeah, uh, it's not completely your fault. I guess I could stand to loosen up a little bit more. 
I appreciate that. I'm going to joke around a lot, and it would be great if you didn't throw a fit every time I tried to make the slightest of jokes. Well, no, I, and I understand that, but think about it in terms of this way. This is the last we'll speak of this for quite a while. I can understand being able to joke, but when you joke at inappropriate times or with things that are far more grand than you could imagine, I'd at least expect you to treat it with some form of decency and respect. You are older than us. You should act your age. Just a little more. Y you do realize I... I worship a little Mara, right? Yes, that doesn't mean you can be a complete charlatan. I thought you it's like part used charlatan. to do Pelorian prayers. Well, yeah, it's it's like part of me is little Mara, part of me is Paylor. Paylor has a lot of things right, but Paylor doesn't have everything right. And I'm not saying they do either, but again, you can stand to listen to that portion of you a little bit more. Because it does come through every now and again, and when it does, you do great things. I'm not saying you're all you know, jackass 24-7, you just have a really bad habit of choosing the really wrong time to do it. Yeah, I mean, no one could be 100% dick. Exactly. And I'm not saying you are, so again... <laughs> <laughs> I got the, the red. Yeah. yeah. Again, you got my you dick just... message. <laughs> again, you could just stand to act a little more careful instead of completely taking things in stride. Oh, I've never actually been reckless when I'm taking things in stride. Uh, today was actually the complete opposite of that. So, kind of? When there's actually any danger, I'm not reckless. Eh. Running through that hall with the vines? That was Cassius's plan. <laughs> was yeah, even my plan? <laughs> exactly, but who's worse? Him for doing it or you for going along with it? Okay, well, really? Okay, oh, before, okay, don't okay, throw stones at the glass house because you all went along with the joke before you, you freaked out. Cassius is sitting Sarah turned to find out. Don't drag me into fucking eye. nonsense. Yeah, I, I'm clear. I, didn't, I didn't say. I in didn't. the midst of everything, Freddy speaks up. Can I try the meat too? Oh, of course. Calf, hoof, or rib. Did you say calf as in like baby uh, cow or is calf the is hoof the really good to eat? Um, well, it depends. If I could boil it in some water and make a broth, but right now we have rib and calf, so take your pick. Uh, I'll just go for a calf. Slice a calf it is. All right, he kind of chews on it for a really long time. <laughs> and then, again, back to Mercer. Uh, again, you like to throw this word we out a lot, but there's a reason why I stormed off and then tried to intercept the message before it got to him. Because, again, I don't go around messing with relics. I do have a form of respect for things I shouldn't mess with. Um, oh. I don't know. I think my... I, I feel like there's some respect for the recklessness and for not being reckless all the time. There's some benefits and not. Like, it was definitely very reckless and pretentious of me to immediately tell Dastin that we're going to fix everything, but everything turned out all right. And not that seems yet, to... No. Well, no. They, well, we uh, still have to protect them from being attacked by the, by the gun, uh, by Winheim. Well, yeah, but that wasn't our promise. Our promise was that we would get the Valtier to stop. No, and treat that's, them as that's, that's where you're wrong. You seem to misremember. You made the promise to protect them from both the Valtier and Winheim. Well, yeah, but the thing is, I was not worried about Winheim attacking them right now. There's no point uh, for them to attack. Now there might be. If they're cooperating with the Valtier, the, Winheim may not like that. That is true, but it still takes a while to get that message around. Well, which means we have to fix it. Well, we gotta do Lockwood first. Oh, boy. Yeah. Well, again, in any case, I don't think we should be going on strokes of luck for everything. Some delicate planning and a little bit more respect could go a long way. Yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. I'll trust your way if you trust mine. And I do. You you took control over this, what I would assume is a group, when we were in Hogsfeet. I followed you because you had the right intentions and you went about things in a delicate and professional manner. It's the stuff afterwards that exactly wasn't the same thing. But again, I expect you to be able to catch yourself on that. Yeah, I will. I mean, we wouldn't know where the encampment was if it wasn't for me. Come on. The whole Katrina talking her into it. Uh, again, well, that not and gonna... You. Alex Trebek did a really good job, and that was all on you. I exactly. Again, you might want to start not thinking you're such a hot shot because this is a group effort. But again, take things in stride, enjoy the fact that you are the age that you are, and 
Again, let's just keep things in moderation before things get out of hand. You're a lot like your dad. Well, that kind of comes with being his kid. Yeah, because he did this exact thing when we were in the army. Like, literally, like, word for word. Well, you know, I'm glad at least someone was there to keep you in check, because I'm pretty sure, had he not, you might be in a ditch somewhere. Well, yeah, it's, that's pretty much how it was. He, I would have been in a ditch, and there was other times that he would have been in a ditch, and then there's times that, I mean, Luke would have been in a ditch, and I turned toward Alexander. Hmm. Well, at, at least that means he did something right. The only thing I understand is that in about a day or two, we'll at least get some information as to where he's at. And it's not that I don't think I should say it or that I shouldn't say it, but I do apologize. And I do say this to the whole group. I can be more than just uptight. Okay. It only took you two weeks to open up. Good job, Alexandria. (laughs) You know, as much as my dad likes you, you're making it harder and harder for me to do it. You know, eventually you're going to smile. It's going to happen. It's going to be great. And this is the part where all of you will see for the first time in quite a while. She is going to crack a small grin. Eh. Freddy, like, stops chewing for a second and smiles back. Oh, pretty. See, was it, that wasn't, that was actually, it felt pretty good, right? You laughed, you, you sort of smiled. Is forward slash R than me, right? Uh, forward slash me, no R. Yeah, forward slash me. Oh, you're doing the red, uh, the green, the red text thing? The orange mm-hmm. text. Yeah. Well, you have color blind on me. So. Oh. I'm glad that everything's out in the open. There you go. And the puns don't stop. I can say it again. <sighs> puns okay. don't stop. Okay. Okay, if, if, okay, so long as we're putting things out on the table, if the puns don't stop, you don't expect me to be completely gun-ho with it. Oh, no, I don't expect you to. It's, it's, it's for me. It's, and I don't even want to know where they started up. Uh, honestly, and I'm not going to lie, I think he has early-onset dementia, but that's just a me thing. You're probably right. I could very much be going crazy. Oh, well, the that's party certainly went. unfortunate. It's okay, Jeff. It happens. He's he, pardon my language, Pelor, but he's seen some shit. Oh, my name is Fred. 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 My bad, Fred. <laughs> it's okay. How's the meat? It's it's. He kind of chews on it. Cherry. Yeah, it is. But hey, how many people in the camp can say they had Minotaur? Only you now. Just me. Just me. Sway, Alexandra, you're apologizing for your language for saying shit, but I've heard you say so much more. I am not exactly responsible for what I say when I am infuriated, upset, angry, any synonymous words with that sort of emotion. Now again, when I ask for forgiveness to Pelor for the next couple of years of my life, I'm pretty sure he'll understand. You're Plus, totally I'm- responsible for the things you say. What are you kidding me? <laughs> I had to oh. agree with Mercer on this one. When tempers flare, I do kind of get a tad out of hand. You cannot say I don't. Okay, At so least I'm when able a barbarian to rages and like starts cutting into people, is well, it his fault? Cause, but he's well, just when mad. Mercer lashes out at Lohengrin, when after he said he wouldn't do something stupid, is that not his fault? Exactly. That was pretty stupid of me. Because I was angry by you. You lunged at Lohengrin? Yeah, he it was pretty... Did. It, it, yeah. And he didn't deck you? And no, well, we, we, we held him back. It yeah. was kind of fun. Not really, it wasn't. It wasn't at all. Any who's ins, that was kind of a boo-boo. But no, like again, I said, I, I do have some sorries to make up with for Pelor, and I do have a pretty good rainy day fund with him, but again, when tempers flare, I'm not going to lie, I do kind of lose my cool. I'm not saying it's the right thing, but eh, I, I, I need to work on getting that a tad under control. Makes sense. How about instead of praying for forgiveness all the time, we could just go to the Luzu Ruins one of these days? Uh, one, I would not want to set foot on that holy ground uh, for quite some time, given that I, I'd, I'd rather think we should just leave things be. 
hopefully find out where my dad and everything is, and then if we have time, maybe swing by there. But that that's quite a trek, and it doesn't seem like it's, uh, you know, all that uh, convenient to head there with what we're pressed with for time and whatnot. Well, that's true. I do know that that's one place I want to go before I die. Okay, so... Which, if a war starts up, that might be pretty soon. Oh, by the way, I'm going to look to Fred. How well do you know the land of, uh, Winheim? Oh, um, like... Oh, it's a topographical basis. Uh, what do you mean, Winheim? Like, everything in it? Only the places man bear pick roams. What? Too soon? <laughs> Never mind. I, I don't get it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Like, if I were to show you a map, how well do you know around? Well, I mostly friend. know, he kind of points, like, Hold on, I'm just going to make sure we're on the map. Yeah. He kind of just points in this general area. I only really know these parts, really, personally. Okay. You ever heard of a place called Miracle Falls? I've heard of it. I mean, it's, it's a legendary place, and of course, he kind of points it up here. Isn't it up here? Yeah, no, just making sure we are on the same page in terms of where what is. And Alexandria at this point in time is going to circle it on her map. Mm. Why do you need to go to Miracle Falls? It's kind of like you. It's one of those places I want to head to at least once before I die. It is a legendary place. I heard it is astoundingly beautiful. Yeah, it's just hard to get there. I know, but I mean, it's all in the name. Miracle Falls. It just sounds like a very grandiose kind of place to be. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the mystery and the magic that surrounds that place is incredible. I'd like to go there someday. But, See? you know, it's really difficult to get up there, I hear. Why is it difficult? Well, like, I mean, look, it's surrounded by these crazy hilltops and mountains. And you can't go by the river, Miracle River over here. And he kind of points at this river going up here. You can't really go up river. That place is totally downhill. So you'd have to take the forest up north. And I heard some pretty crazy things about that forest. Well, yeah, I mean... If like... Any, uh, that there's crazy things up in that forest. Like well, man, bear, pig? You are really going to push that one, aren't you? If I could start a myth and a legend, that'd be pretty cool. Any, well, anyway, what's, what's up there? If I don't know. I am I just hear that it's cool. Well, in any case, we could always, if we can ever get to, or, or at least through the you know, circle jerk of pretentiousness, pardon my language, we could probably head up from Duncaster and take the path this way, because it seems like the forest would lead right into it. Yikes, so, Duncaster, huh? That's still a 60-mile stretch of land if we can get outside that city proper. That's well, again, Duncaster. this is... Oh, yeah, well, again, this is in case we have some downtime, and hey, maybe if the... If things go smoothly and we can pass on through, we can. It's not, I'm not saying we absolutely have to. It's just a place I want to go. Okay. Mm. So who has first watch? Um, I can take first watch if you want. We, we delegate watches. Alexander takes third, Sarah takes first, blah, 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 blah. Second, I guess. And... Freddy will take fourth. I will take, take fifth. I guess I'm last. Yeah, you get to sleep the most. Person, oh, you know. Yeah. Okay. 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 You guys just sleep through the night? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Trisha, out of game, uh, out of character. Is there any meat left over that I might be able to take to Lowengrin and or Matthew? Yes. Yes, I will bring them Minotaur meat. Okay. You can take uh, just enough meat for two people. So. Lowengrin and Matthew are getting it. Hey, Trisha, out of character. Does eating the uh, Minotaur meat give us full strength? You wish. <laughs> That'd be badass as hell. You get you like wish. cooking it's just bonuses. Really tough meat. It's like MMO cooking bonuses. You get cooking plus one to mama. <laughs> you guys gotta wait till Heroes Feast. I try to wake the party up early. Like I'm definitely gonna try to wake up earlier. Okay. Uh, what is it? We need to as soon as the sun's about to come up. We need to actually start heading out. 
You know, we need to be there before uh, Lowen Green gets there. Yep. And All right, I'm going to... She's already parting. We need to head out. All right, let me just pray for about an hour and we'll be good. I'm not really useful without my spells. Okay, can you do it outside the tent so I can close down your tent? Yeah, that's not an issue. Okay. Sorry, yeah. Alexander. No, you wanted more sleep. Cool. Okay. So you do your prayers for the morning. You pack up your shit. Mm-hmm. Anything else you guys do? Mm, well, I guess there's going to be like a good amount of downtime after I close up camp because it really only like, takes about an experienced camper about 10, 20 minutes to close down an entire good camp. Uh, I'm going to spend that rest of that like about 54 minutes working on some of the bones a little bit, some of the prep work. Okay. Go. You'll do that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So the rest of the hour after that prayer. Mm-hmm. We head out at mock speed. Okay, everyone reset your spells, set out, pack your shit, and head back to camp. Away! I whistle as we go. It takes like half the day, of course. Do you guys want to roleplay, or are you good? Um, I think for once we actually kind of got everything out in the open. I think I just like make pleasant conversation and make us all friends and shit. Okay. Freddy seems very pleased with the company, and it's just really cool. You guys make it back to camp. It is the middle of the afternoon when you do so, because I imagine you guys got an early start. Mm-hmm. Middle of the afternoon. Sun's mm-hmm. high in the sky. It's actually pretty warm today, so you're kind of sweating like pigs. Guess Why is there a guy in the well? There's a guy in the well. There's a guy in the well. There's what a literal guy? guy in the well. <laughs> oh, no, a... that's the cleric just sitting on the edge of the thing. Ah! When we when we get back, um, clean up, we cut the horns off and give it to, to Alexandria, and then I do what I promised with Freddy. Okay. Yeah. Freddy goes and he learns as much <laughs> as he can. Roll me a d20. <laughs> what? Jojo Given Swirly because he's a nerd. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, my Drinking brother wants water. to come with us to Filipino time. He's really excited. Yay! Um, what, what was you told me to make a check? What? Mm-hmm. We get to beat Enrique Brotherson? Yeah. Yes. Brotherson. <laughs> Brotherson. 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 You told me to make a check? Oh, yeah. Just roll me a d20 really quick. I'm like king of average or bad rolls. Alright. Uh, yeah, you you teach like a little bu- above average... He seems to be learning pretty well from you. A little slow, but, you know. Yeah. At the end of the, the lesson, I gauge him if he wants to learn something really cool. The cash just be showing up like, well, bam! He... <laughs> oh, whoa. Same. <laughs> Same. Um, yeah, he agrees to it. I tell I grab the great axe and I have my bastard sword and I was like, we need to go outside the camp though. We like I'm not gonna let everyone else see it. Uh it's alright. I think I'll just hang back here. You sure? Yeah. Yeah, and then Cassius will be like, Hey, you wanna practice? And then he gets the same amount of effort. <laughs> yeah, he gets the same amount of effort. Alright. Oh Don't- Lohengrin is not in camp when you guys arrive. But Matthew does, you know, approach is Alexandria. He, is he in this tent like he was last time? Yes. Hey, Matt. Oh, hey. How's it going? Good. I brought you a little present. Uh, is it one of the bones? Because I'm really not that interested. Uh, n- no. What do I look like? The Crypt Keeper? No, definitely don't look like Mercer. Again. Uh, again, I just brought you something. I don't know if you're culinarily adventurous, but... And she throws the slab of cooked minotaur meat on the table. What? Minotaur meat! Minotaur meat? Cooked and prepped by yours truly. Oh, oh. I didn't know you were bringing back meat. Did you Did you purify this? Do I look like an amateur cleric? Of course I purified it. This is insane. You and purified he kind of looks really it. And he goes, oh, thank you. Yeah, again, it's kind of our way for, at least my way for 
saying sorry for the group and again thank you for being patient and the smidgen of understanding no this is this is great wow wow and he kind of chews on it he's like i haven't had a delicacy since valtarian cheese i miss cheese cheese is pretty nice he's like yeah you know this is seasoned really well sure it's like a little tough but that's just kind of expected for minotaur Man, I miss cheese. <laughs> it's been a good while since I've had some cheese as well. One day, one day. Maybe, you know, you guys go to Lockwood. I don't know if there's some cheese there, but Sweet Glade has some great cheese. Ugh, <laughs> that cheese. So, not that I want to rush anything, but have we heard anything back from Lowengrin, or should he be arriving back later on tonight? He should be arriving hopefully before sunset, because you know how those forests can get. All right, excellent. Go. Just want to make sure everything's okay. If you need anything else, um, I'll be outside. In, no, wow, in, in, is... Yeah, enjoy the food. I will. <laughs> he like looks exceptionally happy. Like, yeah, food. <laughs> and yeah, bucket list item crossed off. He ate Minotaur meat. Yeah. So, do you guys just kind of chill, hang around, train until stuff happens? I'm actually going to ask the cleric if there's any uh, parcels or wrapping paper that he might have. Something to preserve medical ingredients. Let me roll. He has some parchment paper. It's like shoddy, just regular paper. Okay, would there be any like clear jars or other forms of container? Uh, if you want to purchase another thing of spiced peaches. Uh, yeah, I guess. I haven't purchased one. I haven't had any. But, yeah, I guess I'll buy some spiced peaches. Five silver, and you get a mason jar full of spiced peaches. Excellent. Time to go share them with other Alex because he is sleepy and needs sugar. Oh, sounds good. Is there any way I can make the spalding today? Not in one day, no. No? Can I get, like, most of the work done? No. Can I get any of the work done? Yeah. Okay, I do that. <laughs> I can't do that. Yeah. All right. Do you guys just chill? One of the time, at one point in time, I will go meet up with Matt. No. Okay. Before, uh, like, after. Later in the day. Later in the day? How later in the day? I don't know. Maybe, like, five. Okay. They don't go by numbers. Okay. Well, I guess whatever would be, whatever that time in the day would be, like, when the sun's, like, around that place. So... After almost the, sunset. Yeah, like I wait a few hours. and then Okay, so almost sunset. You yeah. go to Matt. What's up? Hey, how's it going? Pretty good, pretty good. I'm full. Yeah. You had some good advice about fixing things up with them. Yeah, I, I like you guys. Yeah. You know, uh... I... There's just something about a tight-knit group, you know? It just... It, I guess I'm just the sort of guy, you know, if, if I had to give up something important for people I cared about, I would. Hell, I'd give up my ability to fight if I could save people. Is that why you're fighting for this whole thing? Yeah. And I, I see that in you guys. Yeah, JoJo! Yeah. I, I, <laughs> I see that in you guys, you know? I, it's, it's a little different. Yeah, well, <laughs> all pretty good intention. Yeah, I can tell. I can tell. So, can I help you with anything, or...? Yeah, I just, I just wanted to talk, get to know you, shoot the shit, work on this, and I have, I, I called it the Spalding stuff. Oh, wow, you actually... Wow, you actually got it! That's, that's huge, wow. Yeah, I was just right on the right shoulder, but... Like, you got a table, be someone to talk to while I work on it. Alright. Well, since, like, you say you do this right before sunset. Well, right before sunset, you do hear the voices of some of the camp guys outside. Hey, they're back! They're back! They're coming in! Open the doors! Open the doors! You hear that. Well, I guess our talk we will wait for another time. Yeah, sure. Looks like Lohengrin's back with Mark Hamill, probably. Yep, I better set my stuff down and go over there. Okay, yeah. And Matthew makes his way out. 
And the door, the large doors swing open, and on horseback, of course, Mark Hamill, young Mark Hamill, and Lohengrin are back. Well, did we get them? That's Lohengrin, kind of just looks at Matthew like, mm, no. And Matthew kind of nods. Yep, yep. Looks like our newbies got what we were looking for. Lundgren looks to be in slightly better spirits. He looks a little less uptight than he was before. And he dismounts and he, he brings his horse over. Alright, I have some things for you guys. Did you guys switch attitudes? At some point, switch personalities? No, what? just me? Never mind. Lundgren's just like, what? And Matthew kind of snorts. Yeah, okay. What do you I have for us? And Matthew just kind of waves it off. Don't, just don't ask. It's all right. Okay. Come on, I got some stuff for you. Come to my tent. Actually, no. Let's not go to my tent. Let's go to freaking Emerson's tent. And they go through Emerson's tent. Emerson is once again in the corner. Like, he's in the corner on a chair, just folded his arms. He looks really grouchy. Still bruised up. Hey, Emerson. He doesn't say anything. And then Lohengrin kind of looks over at Emerson. What the hell happened to you? We had some playtime. Oh. And you... Wait, without me? He actually looks genuinely peeved. Well, if I knew, I would have waited. He just... I mean... He, had to, he deserved it. He kind of looks over everyone. So how did the adventure go? It was fun. We... Huh. Killed a lot of things, and we got the thing. Including a minotaur. And a dire bat. And the thing you got, you got the mirrors. Yeah. Alright. Caches. Mm-hmm. Uh, the rope that I got you. Yo, yeah, what's up? Did you use it? Yes, I did. Oh, Alright. At least it came to good use. Alright, good. All right. Anyway, I grabbed a few things before we get into the nitty gritty details. Let's just get this over with. He has a big old sack over his shoulder, and he dumps the sack onto Emerson's for like Emerson's former desk. All right. Yeah, a couple of cleric girls and some lady who works at the general store in Daston told me to give these to you. So, here's some items that are in this sack that he just empties out. There are there's a potion of cure light wounds. And these are labeled uh, a potion of shield of faith and five trail rations and a wooden holy symbol of Pelor and a little note that says blessed be and kick butt. Oh, oh also, there is a hooded lantern and a one, po one pint flask of oil. I swear those girls are just too darn cute. They are very, very nice girls. So these things are for you guys. I was specifically told not to touch them. He kind of rolls his eyes. Really? They seemed really giving. I, I don't think they would have minded you touching them. I met both of them. They seemed very, uh... Well, one was really clumsy. One was really sweet. Oh, they're both really sweet. It's just she gets a little too excited. And Lundgren kind of snorts and smirks. That, that's so dead for you. Oh, speaking of gift giving, Lohengrin, are you hungry at all? Uh, I had a ration earlier. Well, shut up and take what I cooked anyways. Throws down a slab of minotaur meat. You've been carrying that in your pocket all day? Not in my pocket, you dip. It's been wrapped. You've been carrying that all day? It is minotaur meat. Where did you get minotaur meat? We killed, killed a minotaur. You sent us on an adventure. Things happen on adventures, if I remember correctly. And you killed a minotaur? Yep. He, yeah, actually, that was pretty good group effort, not gonna lie. He kind of, like, nods, like, slowly, like, huh. Yeah, I have the whole axe in the tent over there. It's pretty big. It's like the size of you. Matthew kind of, like, looks up. Yeah, you should get the full story from them later, Lohengrin. And Lohengrin goes, R right, Later. Uh, thanks for the steak. You're welcome. 
can't really eat this on my own, but thanks. Um, anyway. So, you guys, uh, out of character, do you need a rundown of the loot? Do you want me to type it out? I just take two of the rations. Okay. You take two rations. There's three rations left. I'll take the two potions and the holy symbol. Okay. You take the two t uh, potions and the holy symbol. Yes, Don't you already have a holy symbol? Yeah, but who else is going to no, use actually, it? No, actually, the, under the inventory, I didn't see one. Oh, well, then I guess I'll just take that one. And besides, it's it's a gift from a cleric to another cleric. And it's a wooden holy symbol, and it looks like it's... It looks like it was hand-engraved. Some parts better than others. <laughs> and uh, it's it doesn't weigh anything, so that's fine. And then the potions were one shield of faith and one cure light, right? Yep. And then there's three rations left. Um, actually, zero. Okay, so... Alexander takes a ration. Um, there's no rations left. Um, there's the hooded, hooded lantern. And, uh, oil in a one, one pint flask. Okay. Does anyone take the note that says, Blessed be and kick butt? I thought it was cute. <laughs> yeah. I do, but I'm gonna give it to Mercer and tell him to keep that in mind. Nice. Blessed be and kick butt? Yes. Kind of a whole party's thing, right? And I put it in the money pouch. It's adorable. Yeah. Long kind of rolls his eyes. Yeah, the girls called it a care package. Yeah, they're really sweet. They're good girls. Yeah. Well, the five rations was from the lady who worked at the store. Oh, yeah, Katrina. She's been helping us out lately, too. Yeah, she's, uh... She's Mercer's kind of gal. Definitely my kind of gal. Take it easy, that's Mark's mom. No, no, I, I know. Of all the girls that I randomly sleep with, she's the one I would actually want to take on a date and not actually just sleep. Randomly sleep with Katrina? No, no, I'm not saying I'm going to randomly sleep with Katrina. You only heard half of that, didn't you? I don't want to know, I don't care. That makes sense. Yeah, he kind of just like rubs, like pinches the bridges and was like, oh, God. Well, you asked for the best and this is what you got. Anyway, so, your friend Howard was kind of a saving grace. I don't think it would have gone as smoothly if it wasn't for him, honestly. He's quite the silver-tongued devil. I'm glad he went with you. Yeah. Ended up being a blessing, that guy. Uh, he went on his way towards Bali, I think. So you might be able to find him there if you ever catch up. So I'm going to take a shot in the dark and say Dasta now knows that you, Valtier's protecting them, and you guys recognize him as a... Independent nation? We have agreed to recognize them as an independent nation, yes. Yahoo! However, we did. We did. And that they are okay. only willing to support us. Well, not necessarily fully support us, but feed us. Uh, allow us into their area, so to say. As long as we keep Winheim out. And the first point of action is to get Winheim out, like I said. Don't Their have a secret guard isn't great, but it's there. And we have to do it in a way that's not as destructive as we have been lately. What kind of forces do they own? Code gay ass. Do they own, do, like, do they have a barracks hidden? Because I heard something about a barracks hidden, or is it just yeah. like a guardhouse? I'm pretty sure they have barracks hidden. We know nothing of it. We're going to find out. We have to figure out a way to figure this out, of course, without explosions happening everywhere, you know? Yeah, well, I mean, I've used to be a staff sergeant and they don't know I'm really working with you so well that's great but you are just a staff sergeant well yeah but an officer that of my caliber wants to enlist again first place you would go would be something like that with a higher up I thought myself into the lion's den many a times I could do it one more time and see if I can find out where the barracks are can you confidently do that you Maybe. haven't been part of the government in 10 years things have changed yeah, but old soldiers who have rank, they're have always needed. Been, are they? Word around says that the old soldiers haven't been able to get back in after leaving. It's Doesn't it sound a little fishy to you? What happened to your lieutenant? Hey, 
those old shoulders are different than me. I'm not dead. <laughs> no, no, but in all seriousness, it's worth That's a shot. Not- Yeah, I know it's a joke and poor humor, but the point is, it's worth a shot. If you can somehow get on the inside, it would be better. If only we knew someone who was a student or something. Is that meta? Does Mercer know? Yeah, he told everyone at the the hog's feet, didn't he? Oh, I don't know. That's up to JoJo. Yeah, He only told Mercer. And Mercer just said it out loud. No, I'm not saying it. I'm saying if only we knew someone who was a student or something or some military person who was actually enlisted and could report. What could a student do? No, I said... I mean... I don't know, like, if anyone, like, they'd have more of an in than I would. But it's all hearsay. I'm just saying. I'm sure we'll figure out something later. Our insiders mm. are slowly getting weeded out. We're kind of in a tough spot. So, we'll figure that out in due time. Maybe you could pull out all your insiders and maybe see if that spooks them. Suddenly, there's no insiders to deal with. They all just seem to bail out. That might make them a little suspicious. They might mess up. Maybe they'll send messages. You can track those guys. Sounds rather rash, don't you think? Well, I mean, if they're getting weeded out inevitably, then you might want to pull them just to save their lives. If they get weeded out, they might find out where this base is. They might find out about what's going on in Dassin a bit too early. kind of thinks about it. I'll figure it out later. I'm tired as hell. Yeah, you go get some rest. How long have you been on horseback? Uh, all day. Anyway. My brain was hurt like a bitch. Boy. <laughs> he kind of like chuckles like darkly. Anyway. Well, yeah. I have this fungus that gets you really cold. Just kidding. I'm not gonna... No, no, don't. Never mind. Okay. It was uh, a joke. I didn't actually say that in character. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. So he just kind of leaves this stuff to you. Do you have any questions? So no. about Lockwood. Yeah, do we leave tomorrow for that, or do you need an extra day to rest? Lohengrin's, uh frown. He kind of frowns a little. I'm afraid I won't be able to come with you. There's a lot to do over at Dastin right now. I think you should head back. So should we just take Cassius, since he seems to be our Valtier connection with you? He kind of looks at Cassius. Hmm, I suppose so. I have to watch you. Is it cool with you? I'm going to go and ask Matthew if it's okay. Matthew, like, Matthew just shrugs. Cassius, you know, you can, you've already done a lot for us, man. You can do, you can go with them if you want. You know, I'm feeling like this one case with, uh, it's like the story of the merchant and the shopkeeper, where the shopkeeper did all the stuff the merchant's supposed to do, but he ain't getting paid any better. Hey, Cassius, you're part of the team, which means you're part of the group pot we have going. But I'm not a part of your team. Yet. But if you say yes, that makes you part of it. Well, no, to be fair, and I, I do think I, I speak for the group, but I... I wasn't when, making a monetary a monetary reference. I was making like a like a position reference, and it was well, no, yeah, chest. no, yeah, I know. But uh, if I do speak for the whole team when I say if we killed a minute target together, and uh, I guess I did save your life, we think you're important enough to be part of the team. Yeah, there's pay and fun times. Yeah, you get to pay and play. <laughs> Matthew kind of chuckles. <laughs> or you can use the money like we have on donating it to things that are important and only using the group pot for resupplies and things that we need, like in stays, food, general expenses. Well, whatever the case is, I'm going with you. So that means you're in. Yay, we met our racial quota. I mean, what? You know, who's taking the lantern? Affirmative action. Well, what was that one more time? 
Who's taking the lantern and the oil? Uh, me. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So it's two pounds, um, and then one pound for the oil. Okay. Whoever takes it, I don't care. Someone take it. Already writing it. Okay. All right. So I guess that's it for the night then. Yeah, yeah I'm gonna it. call it a night. Okay. I'm gonna well, stay up late and work on that spalding, and then I'm gonna sleep myself. Glad to see everything went okay, Lohengrin. Um, glad to have you back. Uh, Good to be back. Enjoy the steak, and I would say ice your groin, but I'll let you take care of that yourself. Wait, what happened? He's been riding on a horse all day. So he's saying ice the groin, but I'll leave it up to the moment. Oh, yeah, I didn't hear that. But yeah, um, Lohengrin kind of smirks and goes, I'm just probably going to sit and eat for a while. <laughs> And he goes and sits by the fire with Matthew. If you need something cold, Emerson's been giving us the cold shoulder all day. Emerson just just kind of turns toward the corner. He's a little beat up. I'm sorry about that. Don't be. Well, be sorry that you didn't wait. Jeez. Uh, to be fair, I offered him peaches. I don't know what he's so mad against the peaches for. The peaches are great. That's all we've been feeding him. That's what Matthew says. <laughs> oh, that might be why. Okay, I'm leaving. Yeah, I wouldn't be too peachy either if I only had peaches. Both Matthew and Logan can go, ugh. <laughs> but Matthew does it with like a fond smile, like, ugh. And he just, Lohengrin's just, ugh. Oh, God. <laughs> Alexander, God damn it. What, Alexander? Don't be a fruit. And everyone walks away from you. Come on, fruit. As in, you know... Okay. This is why you're gonna die alone! <laughs> Alexander, I get it! <sighs> I should have had a kid. Never <laughs> <We'll> walk away. <laughs> <laughs> I work on my thing and then sleep. I'm gonna hollow out both the horns. Sounds good. That's not that difficult. Except for it's DC 112. Well, we're in the same tent, Alex, so if you want to talk, speak now. Ooh. Speak now or forever hold your peace. I can speak? What? You speak really can. can. You excited? To meet the old man? You mean, and dare I say, I haven't said this word in forever, but... Dad? Yeah. <laughs> well, it's kind of a mix of a lot of things. It's a little bit of happiness. I'm a little scared. Um, Anxiety is a big part of it. I don't know. It's it's a mix of things. I guess we'll have to figure that out when I actually see him. You it's know? Not, Trisha, it's nighttime, right? At this point, yes, it is. The sun has dipped over and the horizon. And everyone's getting ready to sleep? Yeah, I'd assume so. Unless anyone says not. Mercer's obviously working on Scrimshaw, but everyone's getting ready to bed. Not gonna lie, I'm a little torn. Torn between what and what? Well, I'm on leave, and if we keep going on adventures, I'll eventually have to go back. And the farther we get, the longer it'll take for me to go back. But I don't want to go back since I'm so close. Well, then it seems like there's nothing to be torn about. You just answered your own question. You don't want to go back. If anything, I'd listen to whatever your heart and or head is telling you. If it says you need to go find Dad because he's right over that hill, then go find him. I guess I'll just have to face the consequences. Well, think about it this way. With the amount of stuff we've already done, would you really want to go back? That's what, I, that's what I've been thinking about. Well, if you ever get sick of, uh, you know, wearing that uniform or that crest, again... You've noticed? <laughs> don't think I haven't. One doesn't simply ask about my crest and then expect me not to inspect well, me. Yours is kind of just kind of out there with your door. So is yours. 
that color scheme isn't exactly all that uncommon. I gotta do better. It's okay. But again, um, it seems like you've already made up your mind. You just gotta actually go through with it. I should get some sleep. I'm really excited to head out tomorrow. I think I am too. Good night. Good night, Alex. Good night, Alex. <laughs> Good night, Alex. Good night, Alex. All right. Alex Trebek rips to the void. Good night, Alex. Anyone oh. else do anything? Oh my god, where's Ralph? <laughs> anything else? No, just, uh, how long would it take me to hollow out both horns? Not very long, I'm supposing. Uh, if you do it carefully, it might take you another night. But, you know, if you're just kind of scraping it out. No, no, then uh, I'll just do as m much as I can, because I do want it to look a little nice. Okay. And then I'll finish the rest of it tomorrow. Sounds good. If I can, I'd like to continue my conversation with Matthew. Okay, yeah. Because I'm, I'm in, I'm in his tent working on this stuff, so I'm assuming he's in there working. Oh, um, well, after Lohengrin and Lohengrin eats his meal up by the fire with Matthew, uh, Lohengrin goes ahead and retires to his tent, and Matthew will retire to his. So. Yeah, I'm working in there, so when he comes in, I'm, I'm glad you're back. I finally can finish that conversation with you. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I had something I like to keep private. I wanted to make small talk before, but then no longer didn't show it up because that was a little more important than just small Okay. Do you have time for small talk, or are you really sleepy? Uh, I got a little time. Okay. I make small talk for maybe like 10, 20 minutes before I actually get into what I'm going to say. Okay. So, yeah, down to business. Um, the note. Henley Reed, Warren Reed. Yeah, Henley Reed, Warren Reeve, Riley Tyndall, Aaron Mabbitt, Zephyr Nazrel, Ella Valadar, Gormir Underforge, Gr sorry, Grom Nor Grom and Lear. Grom and Lear Underforge, Luke Ben and Jerry's and Vern Berenger. Can you explain more about that? Meaning? Didn't we already tell you? Yeah, they're all working for you, and then Penley Reed showed up. As a skip. Yeah. Have they all, like, two of those names are very high ranking officers from the Three Rulers War. Yeah. Did they just turn up to the Valtier out of the blue and just decide to fight for you, or were they, like, how long has this been going on? I think you'll get your answers at Lockwood. I guess the reason why I'm asking is I'm not Valtier. Obviously. But part of me wants to be. Yeah. If two of the names on here are men I served under and I highly respect them, and two more of the names that are on here are of men that I serve with that I very much respect as well. Okay. They've been working with you for all this time. I'd like to kind of know a little bit more before I walk in. Whatever is in Lockwood. Well, what exactly, what kind of information are you looking for? I guess the real answer is I don't know what I'm looking for. But if you can give me something to, to go on, it would definitely help. He kind of smiles. That sounds like a you problem. Yeah. I don't really have good people skills either, so... I guess I'm not well, going to hear anything from you then? I don't know what to tell you. Uh, didn't we already tell you that they work for us? Well, yeah, but like... <laughs> Boyd, high five. Go back to... Go, right back to at ya. Right back at ya. I can't English! Alexandria. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean. Dark, yeah, I Dark do. Here fell five years ago when the rebellion started. Was the rebellion brewing from the start of the fall, the end of the last war? Not quite. You know, it did take a couple years, a few years, five. Yeah, it was like. Well, I'm sure Luke and Vern will tell me what's going on, but I don't know, I'm just confused why even these people would just join right off the blue. Just because most of them just fell off the face of the earth and then they just showed up. Really? Um, I'm pretty sure the only ones who went MIA are the guys under you, right? Yeah, I guess that's probably right. I mean, no one really popped up out of nowhere out of the blue except for them, so to say. They're pretty important then? Huh? I guess they're pretty important then? 
every single one of these people in this camp is important, except for Emerson. He's a dick. Yeah, like... Is there more people like him in the Valtiers? Like, because you mentioned you were inspecting other camps like this. He'd be the first that we're that we've come across. But yeah, but the, I mean, an investigation doesn't start unless there's multiple just one report, right? There are a few camps that we've already looked at. And all's all's good. So far, I mean, we can't be sure. That's what this is for. And we already told you this. I don't know why I'm repeating myself. I guess I'm just worried. I don't like the idea that the Valtier are known as terrorists. Or that they kill Well, you're not one of us, right? He kind of smiles. So it's okay. I'm not one, but I'm thinking about it. Yeah. Well, you keep thinking about it, and if you want your answers, you'll get them. That's what I've been telling you all this time. You go to the source of everything, and you'll find... I think it'll just fall into place. All right. Night. Night. I'll collect this this mess in the morning. I'll just random. Yeah, don't worry about it. I'm just going to conk out right here. Yeah. And I do that. Tonight, Matthew dreams of meat and cheese. Mm, I could go for some meat and cheese. Okay. So do you guys just all sleep? Yep. Yeah, Y'all sleep. Go. Welcome to the 19th of summer. We have one hour to go. Is that okay? Yep. Yep. All right. Maybe we could get to Lockwood. Yeah. All right. We'll see. So, summer of nineteenth. What do you guys do in the morning? The usual prey. Gather up everything I need to travel. Shoulder the axe and get ready to go. All right. Alex packs up. Um. Caches. Yep. Matthew goes up to you and he hands you a note. Uh. Can you just bring this to my wife? He takes a look at it and he's like, sure thing. Oh shit, yeah. we get to meet her. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> Unicorn. Yeah, uh, tell her I miss her. I'm pretty sh I'm sure she knows. Yeah. Without me having to say it. Yeah. Thanks a lot. Unicorn Quest. Or is Pokey the name of like their corgi? <laughs> quest Accord. Anyway, so yeah, he hands over a letter. Uh, it says, to Elise on it, of course. Yeah, he's just gonna, like, stuff that away. Like yeah. a breast pocket. Sounds good. Okay. Anyone else do anything interesting? Um, Matthew is washing up and just general maintenance. Lohengrin, Jojo. <laughs> Lohengrin's just, um, swinging his, swinging a sword and target shooting elsewhere. Like, there's some targets down that way. For practice, so he he does he does that. Um, looks like Mark Hamill is eating breakfast. Freddie sure. is eating breakfast next to Mark Hamill. But looks like they're actually pretty good friends. And then you guys, what do you do? I make sure to say thank you to Lohan and Matthew and Mark Hamill for everything. Yeah. Um, they they make sure that that uh one of the mirrors that you guys have goes straight to the people at Lockwood. Of course, that was the deal. Cash mm -hmm. is gonna go over to. See, do we have any sort of, like, armory to speak of? Sorry? Actually, actually, yeah, is there an armory, like, to speak of or something like that? Like a tent with just some extra short swords and uh, some short bows and stuff, things like that. Question. Uh-huh. I'm going to try and sneak into Emerson's tent and look around, see if he's got a decent bow. Oh, no! No! Server interrupted. Damn you, wind! Oh well. I mean, I don't think we have to make too many rolls right now. Oh no. I just wanted to see if Emerson had a bow, and then I would alleviate it from him. Um, let me roll. He has a short bow. I will also roll to be the sneakiest black guy. Go for it. Uh, where is it? And also, a quiver of ten arrows. Excellent. So, I'm gonna just... No! What did you say no to? No, this! Load, you shit! You shit! 
Oh. Randomizing dice, sort of. It worked for me. I just got a nat 20. I did not see this. Oh, well. Oh, yeah, yeah, it, just, see it. it just said your connection to the server has been interrupted as soon as I did it. All right. I'm back. Well, it was a nat 20, so that was a waste. That is nope, a waste. I'm, there it is. I'm back. Nope, there it is. I'm back. I see the nat 20, but that does nothing for you. All right. 21 likes. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> what? Excellent. All right, so I'm just going to silently walk into Emerson's tent. Oh, Super so sticky good. like. You're so good. I stole your 20. Alright. Um. Do you like go through in the front or? I'll probably just go through in the front. Well he's gonna see. It, you kind of know he's gonna see you if you just walk in through the front. Oh. Then I'll just like. I'll cozy around the back. Okay, if you cozy around through the back, then you can totally sneak in. All right. So I'm gonna look for the bull. Yeah. Moose it's the... What? Oh, is that the moose island? That should be the moose island. Oh, never mind. Yeah. Um, if you uh, roll me spot check to see if you find it. Okay. Yeah, you see it. It's under his desk. He's currently lying down on his cot. Grumbling. Well, you like, can't tell if he's asleep or not. It's kind so, of would I need to slide of hand it or move silently? And then you don't need a slide of hand since you just need to grab it. Just move. Oh silently. no! Oh, skill checks though. Let me see if he hears this. Wait, is skill checks? Does a nat a no. critical fail count? No. 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 Okay, so it's, it's still, still a twelve. Still. Right, let me roll a listen check. Hey, but when it just I got a like, oh, one on my sense here? mode, you made me automatically believe it. I will say that. That's because your sense motive, though, was like a three and it ended up being like a four. Yeah, he'll be like, what are you doing in here? And I'm like, oh, I thought Matthew would be in here. Wait, let me look at your sense motive. My yeah, sense your sense motive was a plus three, so you got like a four. That's why I made you do it. Yeah. His is still a twelve. Anyway, he doesn't hear you. He's just grumbling to himself. Oh, I'm gonna just. Grab I hope it. I'm not being unfair. I think this is fair. No, I'm just gonna grab it and walk out then. Oh, like walk out just without even. Well, well, sure. I'm gonna go back to being silent. So okay. I'm just gonna get the bow and leave. He <laughs> just like sneaks in there, picks it up, and just stands up and walks out with the bow. Like <laughs> I you didn't hear me come in, much. but you can't hear me go out. Fuck you. Oh. So it's still going out. All right, let me roll Get another listen check. Getting rid of what the hell up. is that kind of roll? I told you, I'd sold a 20, and now he's getting ones. He heard it. This is all your fault, Rick. <laughs> Soiled it. The, rum the, the mumbling he's doing stops, and he sits up. What was that? And he looks around. And uh, he sees you. Oh, hey, how's it going? <laughs> what the hell are you doing in my tent? Oh. Uh, I was like, oh, hold on, let me Stands roll my up. bluff. Let me roll my bluff. <laughs> Are you holding his bow? Uh, can I conceal it? <laughs> it's a short bow, dude. It's a short I, bow and a quiver of arrows. But I have, like, this, like, side thing, because, you know, rogue, I have to hide shit. <laughs> you can't hide but a it's a short bow, bow in and pocket. quiver and arrows. Would he recognize it as his? No. You've, this works better for me then. <laughs> it is just another short bow and another set of qu uh, set of arrows, like the rest of them. It's nothing special about it. All right. So, uh, I hope it doesn't fuck me on a one. But you know, if we get three ones in a. So one. I'm just gonna I'm gonna just say straight up. Oh, sorry to wake you, sir. Uh, I came in here looking for Matthew, but as soon as I noticed that he wasn't in here. And you were sleeping. I was trying not to rouse you, so I apologize for that. <laughs> All right, let me roll sense motive. You. <laughs> All right, well, <laughs> don't do that next time. I'm trying to get some relaxation. He lies back down and huffs. Certainly, sir. Have a great day. And then I just walk out. Hope. <laughs> <laughs> <Boop. laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Silver tug devil. Fuck him. 
Anyway, um, yeah, Alexandria. Are you, are, are you guys just gonna see me like walk out of the tent? <laughs> yeah, yeah. But at the same time, Alexandria Lohengrin does say he he is very grateful for the meal, and he actually likes tough meat, so he really enjoyed oh, it. He likes it tough. He does like tough meat. <laughs> actually, <laughs> he thanks you profusely, and um, he's actually writing something down, and he says he uh, before he, everyone leaves, go get him. We'll get who? Lohengrin. Oh. Okay. Do Already there. Me? But does anybody see me just walk out of his tent? Oh yeah, I see you. <laughs> I'm not saying anything. Oh, okay. <laughs> like, I, I, we make eye contact. I know what you did. Sort of. I'm just, I'm just like, I just like make that like, yeah. <laughs> Matthew's around. He, he, he looks at you, snorts, and just keeps walking. <laughs> I'm gonna go hunt down the Lohengrin then. Yeah, oh. Find the Lohengrin. Hold on, I have to put a short bow on my list now. <laughs> okay, short bow and a quiver of ten arrows. I spelled short. Uh, I spelled shot bow instead of short. Shot bow. That sounds cool. So I think we all go find Lohengrin. So your short bow is a D6, right? I'll pull it up for you. I'm pretty sure it's a D6. I guess everyone goes to find Lohengrin. Mm-hmm. Well, I was already there, so... Okay. <laughs> and Cassius, you see Alexandria and... Short Lauren. bow is D6, three times critical, 60-foot range, two pounds, piercing damage. See, how much do you think it would, uh... Wait, you said 1D6 and it was... Three piercing. times crit, 60-foot range, two pounds weight, and piercing damage. Alrighty. And see, what's the weight of a single arrow? And wait, it's about one pound for ten arrows. One pound for ten. So I think. I, let me look it up again. Yeah, it comes in quivers of. Uh, no, arrows come in quivers of twenty, and they're three pounds. So ten okay. arrows would technically be one point five pounds. So quiver of. Arrows, and you said it was three pounds? Three pounds for 20 arrows. Okay, and I have 20. And then, how much does a short bow weigh? Two pounds. Two pounds? Alrighty. Sorry if I took that away from you, sweetie. For what? Took what, what, what? Giving him the information. No, that's totally fine. Thank you, actually. Did me a favor. Alrighty, cool. I did what I needed to do. One okay. last middle finger to Emerson before we leave. <laughs> now, if you look at the bow, um, on the handle, there's a small engraving, en engraving of a BMF. Really? Yeah. He wrote BMF on his bow? He engraved BMF on his bow. <laughs> Does he think he's a bad motherfucker? He thinks he's a badass motherfucker. Well, not so, anymore. So yeah, B-A-M-F, fine. We'll call it B-A-M-F. He's a BAMF? He thinks he's a BAMF. Well, it's no longer his bow, so I am BAMF. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. Alright, we go to Long Run. Alright. Um, is everyone prepared to go? Yep. Yep. Lohengrin puts down his bow from his target practice or whatever. And he hands you a note. Whoever's closest to him at the time. Doesn't matter uh, who. Probably the Cassius. Fine, Cassius, take the note. I'm the note carrier. <laughs> you guys, uh, if you ever find yourself in Bali, we got a, a good friend over there. Uh, Howard? Well, that's your friend. <laughs> no, he became my friend, too. He's pretty cool. He's fine. Uh, there's a guy named Aster. Uh, he has a sister, of course, in Lockwood, but this guy is pretty talented. He can make your weapons better, maybe your armor better, and with this note, maybe he'll give you a discount, because that stuff can get pretty expensive. All right. He so wouldn't happen to know an Alex Trebek from Daston, would he? I, I wouldn't know. Interesting. See, 
Uh, Cash is gonna... Just weapons or armor as well? Weapons, armor. We call him a whitesmith. Okay, whitesmith, got it. Cash is gonna tuck away the note and he's gonna pull out the short bow and then go over to the firing range. He's gonna be like, I wanna know if this thing is as... Is as cool as he thinks he is. Uh. So I just draw the arrow and just fire. Yeah, and um, lands on the target. It's pretty close. Eh, good enough. He walks over and pulls it out. Yeah, not bad. <laughs> All right, Re-sheath. you get your arrow back. Yep, he just resheathes it, put it back in. So yay, I got. Yep. Still We're got done. them twenty arrows. Uh, I, uh, ten arrows from this quiver. Oh, ten? Yeah. Okay, so... Ten arrows... Look, guys, I, we're burning daylight. We should get moving. Mm-hmm. We gotta get to that road. Let us go. Okay. Right. Good luck, guys. I'm sure we'll see you around. Yeah. It was always a pleasure. And next time, if you ever want to beat up Emerson, I'll wait for you. Uh, when Alexandria hugs Lundgren, once again he stiffens up, but he, you know, he finds it in himself to kind of recover and pat her on the back like, yeah, yeah, all right. <laughs> okay, so that happens. And do you guys head out? Yes, we do. Yeah. Lundgren uh, gives like a, a nod and a, and a smirk in return to Sarah. And you guys... Onward and upward! On the road again. Move north for a good most of the day to the path. I'm gonna remove any signs of, like, Valtier off of me. Okay. And I'm gonna just, like, hide that in my bag. I definitely have my emblem, like, readily available if need be, but it's not on me, like, directly. Okay. Or actually, you know, what? I'm gonna hide it with the I'm gonna hide it with the letters in my breast pocket. Alright, let's get moving. What the hell? <laughs> Stop! Stop! <laughs> 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 if anyone steps falls behind me on this little hike here, oh stop! Stop! You wish, motherfucker. Stop it! <laughs> Mama, just start there. Let's just start there. <laughs> I've lost my uh, will see, now to it's, live. It's now upside it's, down and shit. Now it's fucking upside down. Yeah, I did that. <laughs> <laughs> Alexander's gonna exactly. conceal his emblems as much let's, as possible. Let's just slightly tilt it to the left. <laughs> well, that's so fucking annoying to look at. To the right, actually, because we're going that direction. <laughs> no. We pointed to where we're going. There. Oh. Wouldn't that mean we go this way? No! Stop it! Yeah, that way. <gasps> that way. <laughs> no! <laughs> that way. That way. Cease and desist your shenanigans! <laughs> okay, guys, we should stop. Everywhere! Alright, no, seriously, though, we're done. Yeah. We are done now, guys. Okay? Yeah. All right. I believe we should all go this way. Just Enrique. Oh yeah. my god. <laughs> Enrique. Yeah. Stop. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay. No, now it's got, now it is gone. <laughs> yeah. Please stop. Thank you. Okay. You guys travel, and do you guys just make it to the pathway? Yes. And it takes about most of the day. Okay. It's already sundown by the... Like, it's around sunset, and you're starting to notice that the trees are shifting. Look at them trees. They and do you make it to the path, but, you know, the, around the path, the trees are shifting. Alright. Let's camp here for the night. What do you eat? Rations. Right. Rations, I suppose. How do you start the fire? Flint and steel. It's always burn and it's the world. Fit. Okay. Mm-hmm. So you guys do that. You camp out. You chill. 
music in the background? Not mine. Nope. Sounded kind of cheery. Okay. You guys just sleep through the day? Well, not through the day. We we sleep at, at night. night I mean. Yeah. All right. So you guys are camped out on the path. Mm-hmm. Um. All right. Next morning is the summer twentieth. So are we on the? Yeah. Are we on the space right next to Lockwood? Mm, you guys are here, and then you guys are traveling through this hex the next day. Alrighty. So let's just um, go ahead and move it for the next day. Let's we'll just call that. Yeah. Any breaks we have, I, I work on the the spalding. Okay. Throughout, you can work on the spalding. In fact, through this uh, the, this next day or two. I can say that you would probably finish it by then. By the time I get here? Um, by the time you get to the end of this hex. Okay. Same thing for the uh, the horns. The horns. Horns won't take nearly as much time. Cool. Yeah. Okay. So. I start wearing this balding at that point. Right. What do you guys think? Nice, just travel. Yeah, we should, we should pretty much travel. What do you guys think? It's Terrifying. Hard. Cool. Kind of a bit morbid, but yeah, if that's what you're going for, go you. Sweet. All right. That's what I wanted. Mm. Nope. Okay. You travel. Food? Wait, did you do, like, scrimshaw on the Spalding? To a degree, yeah. He's got a... Fucking Cash, uh, Cash is going to critique your, your scrimshaw. Like nothing that would reduce the like the strength of it, just enough to like look. I know, of- but I know he's just gonna critique yeah, it very. Yeah, actually, actually make uh, because you're critiquing, go ahead and roll me a craft check or something. Yeah, that's it. Uh... Would that be an appraise though? No, I'm I'm asking Enrique for a craft I have check. Craft check, yeah. It's actually pretty shitty. Hmm. Uh, could be much better, but. It's definitely not your first one. Like, you're a little above average. It's not that pretty. Since you rolled a nat 20 about Scrimshaw, I'm just going to say that you know it's a little bit above average, but not that amazing. Jordan, I mean. Cash, he's... He's going he's gonna to do an appraise check to see how much he would be able to sell that for. Just in the off chance. Um, you would probably know it's not more than for that. Yeah. It's mostly the Minotaur bone itself rather than the scrimshaw. That would be more expensive. You would know that much. Alrighty. So you would know it is kind of, it, like it could fetch a pretty penny, but not because of the scrimshaw itself. I told him straight out that like. The scrimshaw doesn't add, but it doesn't really take away from it either. I mean, it's not really supposed to. It's supposed to give it a little more unique look. It's I'm not I'm not selling this thing. I know, but in Bones the off on the other hand, I am selling. I was gonna say, but do in the off chance it will, it can fetch a pretty d- penny. Yeah, but so could any scrimshaw, really. I mean, well, any minotaur bone scrimshaw. No, just the minotaur bone. <laughs> We have Minotaur Bone and Scrimshaw together. No, just just the Minotaur Bone. <laughs> you know that um, if he did a better Scrimshaw, it could add more value. I'm not going to add to his ego. Okay. <laughs> Pablo's go to the bathroom. Okay. Unfortunately, nothing happens during this travel day. When you live by the sea, you know good Scrimshaw. <laughs> That you do, actually. So we're chilling, we're chilling. What do you guys eat? I guess the rations for that day. Ration? Yeah. It's Anyone else? a rational thing. The fair. Is this the second day of travel? Yep. Yep, rations. Mm-hmm. The ration. It's also thing. very hot. Like, it's getting warmer. Cassius is going to take up a shit. And not just warm. It's a little muggy. 
In fact, it's the unpleasant muggy, where if you look at the sky, it's actually looking like clouds are forming. Tut tut, looks like rain. Like, he's gonna, uh, Cash is gonna, like, smell the air. Does it get, like, that rain smell? It's got that, ugh, it's wet and gross out smell, and it could be raining within the next day or two. Didn't you say I had, like, some sort of war wound? Because I was really cold. If you want to have your joints all stuff. Like, yeah, I guess. I was like, Go ah, for it. My shoulder aches a bit. It's going to rain soon. <laughs> this is great. Yeah. We're waiting for Pabbles. How am I doing, guys? So far, so good. Cool. Can't wait to get to Lockwood. I'm pretty sure we might just get to Lockwood enough to call it because it is 30 minutes still. Oh, yeah, you're right. Or we might be able to, like, go in and, like, meet the place we're supposed to go, and that's about it. Mm -hmm. All depending on how long Pablo takes. Do, 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 do. Where are you buying breakfast tomorrow? Yeah, I'm buying his breakfast. Oh, no, it's you didn't really miss anything. Pablo is still using the restroom as well. Stream, thank you so much for watching. This is a heavy 21 freaking likes. Uh, yeah. Anyway, this is kind of a roleplay heavy session. Um, just like last session was really combat heavy because raisins. So thank you so much for sticking with us and listening to our story. Once again, we have a really cool... We Well, it's not cool yet. I don't have everything on it yet. But we have a Winheim Chronicles Facebook page. You can take a look at it. I'm going to be posting you know, pictures of NPCs, of old like towns that the players have seen so far of little synopses and already under the notes tab on our Facebook page um, there's like the history custom information custom rules that I have in there and yeah along with important links like the twitch the Jojo's amazing twitch and his amazing talented YouTube channel he is much talent so of course, Jojo. So, yeah, hope you guys stay tuned. We have about a half an hour of this session left before we're going to call it a night. Uh, I think, guys, correct me if I'm wrong, but we've decided to play Wednesday night. Um, yep, sure. Is yep. that a thing? Yep. Yeah, we agreed to do the Wednesday night because that's when it seems like everyone's free. For the most part, yeah. Yeah. I also have to, um, guys, while you're here, I'll tell Pablo when he gets back. Um, if you can send me a picture of your character, and I can put under the Winheim Chronicles, like, photo album, what your characters look like and such, played by whoever, just so that we have that done and all that shenanigans. Just Facebook message me a picture, and I'll PNG it or whatever. So I, I warn you, don't click that link if you don't want to see spiders. Clicking it. Clicking it. Like, that's, it's actually terrifying. Yay! Oh, that is terrifying, actually. And like, I felt something crawl up my spine when I saw it. Like, that's in his air conditioner and underneath the glass pane that's of the speedometer. Why would you, why would that happen? It has to be Australia. It, 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 the title is It Grew Up, so. It's definitely Australia. It has to be Australia, because that's a gigantic fucking spider. Is the steering wheel on the right side? Because isn't Australia on the other side? <laughs> Aren't they? Australia. Australia's crazy shit. Like, that right. is, that's scary shit right there. Is everyone here? I think yeah. so. Pablo? Yeah, right here. Rebuttal. I'm gonna look.
Yeah, pretty <laughs> fucking much. Um, yeah. yeah Actually, yes. That is the burn perfect your rebuttal. Car. And that is how John deals with spiders. Blowing <laughs> exactly. up a car. Mm-hmm. But yeah, thank you, Stream, for checking us out. Yep. Appreciate it. Alright, so do we arrive in Lockwood? Uh, you I'm do. Sure. Now, as per usual, I have a picture of the town. I have a brief little synopsis okay. thing. Now, this is the next day that you're going, right? Mm-hmm. It is the 21st of summer. Holy crap, give me one second. Kidding. Oh, Jojo, are these images and stuff? Thank you! Muchas gracias. It's all good. Now, the next day, it is light drizzle. You feel it in the air. And it's humid still, even though it's a light drizzle. The, the water, like the rain is cool on you, but the air is thick and, and hot. Now, as you, you do approach Lockwood, that's what it looks like. If you could show the stream, that would be great. Jojo? Oh. Is Lockwood. Now you approach this rather large city. Um, looks like it's made of, like, you know, the buildings are made of stone. Uh, yeah, it's surprisingly big. Uh, basically, it's, you approach and it kind of smells like sewer and rats. Um,. It looks like a darker town. Uh, do you guys go in? Cassius just like takes a whiff of the air and just goes, smells like home. Smells like, home. <laughs> smells like Mac's wife. I'm going to take an hour to pray before we go inside, but then, yeah, sure, we can go inside. Oh, yeah, no, you're not, you didn't, I'm assuming you didn't camp out right outside. You probably camped out like a good distance away. Oh, then, yeah, sure, good. Yeah, we uh, head inside, I guess. Yeah, um, and, and it's raining, so it's even worse. And as you head inside, like, through the opening in the walls, like the entrance, there are homeless and hungry people, destitute, like, right there on the streets, even though there are lots of buildings. It looks super overpopulated. Um, the water, like, the floor is slick and muddied. I didn't bother making a map because there are so many buildings and, like, so many alleyways packed into these small areas. So I figure you guys kind of get the picture. Yeah, do people move out of the way for us, though? At least for what? Mercer. What? Because I'm still shouldering that large axe. Are you really? Yeah, like, it's the only way I can carry it. Okay, well... Like, the people who are awake and who aren't, like, literally passed out on the street or puking into a trash can, yes, they do move away from you, um, like, frightfully, and they just kind of scamper off. Some people look at you, like, with deadened eyes, just like, oh, God. <laughs> like, I'm not trying to look intimidating, just like... Yeah, I know, but, like, like there are a lot of people, like, especially kids who are running around barefoot. They're running away from you. Um, yeah, it's... it's uh, it's not a very happy place, especially in the r conveniently rainy weather. It's just, it looks uncomfortable. It looks unhappy. And stifling, even. So, Cassius, you know where to take us. Yep. All right. Lead the way. Now, where are you going to go? Cassius well, knows the city, so. Yeah, he knows well, our contact, right? Huh? He knows our contact, right? You want to go straight there? Well, first I want to do the the bro job, and I'm going to drop off a letter to Elise. Oh, okay. Um, so you go to Matthew's house. Uh, I, I, I tell him straight out, just stick right here. I'll be right back. Okay. So they wait at the entrance with the homeless. You and you explain go into what you're doing, or is this like... Oh, it's up to the, him. I... I... I, I tell you guys minimally so we know this isn't like the place we know this is like an errand for Ma Matthew well I just pull out a letter real quick to show you guys that I need to make a delivery so I just go up and knock on the jail alright are you alone? no yep. I walk up with him I tell you to wait <laughs> hey if this is where those two are I'm, I'm meeting them I, I straight tell him no it's not <laughs> shoe. <laughs> okay. And I walk back. Okay. So it's just Cassius at the door? Yeah, now it yes. Is. Okay. 
So, um, lo and behold, Elise opens the door. A beautiful elven woman. Um, like one of the few full elves you've seen so far. Um, and she greets you with a smile because she knows your face. Hey, Elise. How you been doing? I'm good. How are you? Doing fa- Um, you know, I'm doing pretty good. So, he just kind of reaches in his pocket. I got a letter for you. Ah, uh, for Matthew? How is he doing? Uh, doing pretty good. Things are... Things are looking up for us. That's good. I hope so. If you could, I, I wouldn't want to trouble you, but if you ever make yourself, your make your way back to wherever he's staying right now, um, let him know I have something important to tell him. Well, actually, once we're done with business here, um, if you're able to mesh up a letter, and then I'll head back sometime later, and I can pick it up because I do have to pass through to head to Bali. Great. Yeah, I'll get started on that soon. All right. Um, see, I might be. We might end up having to stay here or stay in town for the night due to the rain. So you know, we'll be back uh, once I take care of business. Right. If you need more room, you could of course stay here. But there are many places to stay. Well, I hope not to impose. It wouldn't be an imposition at all. Uh, well, then I think I'll kindly take you up on your offer then. Of course. Just let me know when you need to. Certainly. All right. So I better head off. Of course. Good luck. Thank you. All right. So he just heads off uh, back to the group and he's like, okay, now we can head off to where we need to go. All right. Okay. So do you take them to Valtier HQ? I do. Oh, okay. So in the around the cor- like in the corner of this dank town, and on the way you are passing lots of people coughing, um, a lot of just some, you know, like there's it's just a miserable place. Like it's it's a different kind of poor than Hogsfeed. Hogsfeed is like the entire town was like just kind of grumpy, and they're just like yeah, move along, whatever. But this place it looks really really desperate. It's just awful. Not taking care of it all. But you approach this rather large building, and uh, Cassius, let's just say you know that there is a certain knock that you do. Yeah, you okay? You just have a seizure on the door, Cassius? All right, and the door opens. And uh, this lady. I had to roll to see which one. Haha. <laughs> a young woman opens the door. Uh, Cassius, you recognize her as this, as the blacksmith, actually, and her name is Iris. Uh, you definitely know that she is definitely a Valtier supporter, and she hey. always has been. Hey, uh, Iris, how you been doing? Cassius, and she kind of gives you a hug. Um, I, I, I actually have a picture old, of her. I give her a good old hug. Yeah, let me. I actually have a picture, so let me go whip that out. I have pictures of NPCs now, guys, because I'm not obsessive enough. <laughs> Yay! Well, at least most NPCs. Yay, context. All right. She's a hot. Uh, here, let me post it on Winheim, and if you could show the stream, Jojo, that'd be great. Imger. <laughs> Holy Dang. fuck! Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, that's her. That's that's Iris. I'm oh, and if anyone that. wanted to know, um, I have a, also a picture of Elise. But you know, a good portion of us know what Elise looks like. I just Please, figure oh. I post that too. This is Miss Elise. She's an elf, of course. Gorgeous as always. Gorgeous as always. And you have Iris, who's just super hot. Yeah, she's like, Cassius! And she kind of gives you a hug. Yeah, she's I give like, her a good old hug. Who are they? Um. Sploosh. I say, I say friends. Okay. Are they new or something? Well, I uh, whisper in her ears and explain uh, who Alexandria... Uh, well, I explain who Alexandria um, and... Uh, fucking Alex. Alex. I explain the Alexes. <laughs> Okay. Her jaw drops. Oh. Her ear. oh shit. Okay. Um, yeah, it's sort of nod. 
I go, I, I, I tell him, like, I'm like, Lohengrin, I'm like, I'll be like, Lohengrin and Matthew, we did, we did a few things. We also, I also have something to deliver here as well. Yeah. Uh, yeah, give me one second, guys. See, who, Iris, or you? No, me. Oh, okay. <laughs> I just wanted to. Yeah, so, okay. Um, Iris steps aside. Um, yeah, you know, everyone's upstairs. Okay. Did you did you get the thing? And by the thing, you know she means the mirrors. I, I look at her and I give her a good old, like, Cassius wink, and I'm like, like, we got the fucking mirrors. Oh my god, that was a real thing? <laughs> wow. I, 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 I say to her and I'm like, yeah, so it was the Minotaur, the bat, the fucking... There's a lot of shit. <laughs> there was a lot of stuff. Giant kind of smiles, and you brought some really cute ones too. Anyway, let's go upstairs. Um, by the way, I'm gonna stay down here. I don't want to be here when everything explodes. <laughs> so, uh, no, it's good. We're good. It's good. We we checked it. It's good. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Because you know you don't know these relics, right? Uh, so. Well, you know. You, we could be as sketched out as we want, but, you know, they, they know better than us. Figures. So you go, she leads you to the staircase. And it looks like where you're in is an old bar slash inn that was kind of converted. Um, so it looks like she's leading you towards where the rooms would be on the upstairs area. And so you all go upstairs and you open the door. And another NPC, because I have so many freaking pictures. Uh. Seventh Heaven? <laughs> Can we call it Seventh Heaven? Let's just make it a thing. The Valtier base is Seventh Heaven? Let's just call it a... Th yeah, because Tifa. This lady answers the door. Mm, Cassius and Mercer. You recognize this woman. Mercer, you recognize her as Riley Tyndall. Colonel Riley Tyndall from the war. She's one of your higher ups. Do I know her on a friendly basis, or do I? Or am you I know like... her on a basis of oh god, she's gonna shank me. <laughs> she's very stern. I'll say, I'll, I'll, uh, curtly say, Colonel. And she's like Cassius. Riley. Um, uh, Mercer. Yeah, it's a long story. Her eyes go wide, like. Um, are you, are you joining us? Uh, well, it's, it's, it's a long story, sort of. And it's at this story. point, I give her kind of like a, yeah. She steps aside. We have a lot to catch up on, Miss Tyndall. Yeah, um, hmm. Give me a second, one second. And then, like, in Mercer's head, like, that sweet ass of yours. <laughs> wow. No, I know Riley Tindall would fucking shank me in the moment's notice. Oh, fuck Maybe yeah. Maybe you're into that. Wow. Secretly. Hang on, I'm setting up one last thing. We're stopping at one, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay. There are three other gentlemen in the room. One. Who you would recognize, Alexandria. Bert Daddy. Andrew. Two. <laughs> Daddy. Luke Ben and Jerry's. And, of course, their eyes are all wide as hell. And then the third gentleman. King Winheim. What? He is also in the room. And I think we should call it. I, uh... <laughs> yep. Yeah, that's a really good place to call it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> 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 just knew the whole time. <laughs> oh my god. Jordan did it, no doubt. <laughs> <laughs> He's super surprised, though. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah. Um, so I guess we stop as Alexandria drops her shield and runs to her father's arms. 
Um, but Daddy! here's where we stop, because I think this is a good time to stop. Oh Damn, I wish we could continue it. Huh? I really want to continue oh, no. it. I know, the but 15 back. minutes just isn't enough for everyone to kind of like, huh. But it is enough to make, to save 15% or more on current terms. Yeah, but it is. So, yeah. Yeah. Um. So in the room, let me just go into details for the party. Um, the first man you see is definitely Vern Berenger, um, Alexandria's father. The second man is Luke Ben and Jerry's, Alexander's father. And then, of course, you see, strangely enough, King Langdon Winheim himself is in HQ for, Lo- for Valtier Rebellion. Um, you know, Luke and Vern look older almost somber there's some wrinkles they look weary and tired and Langdon Winheim obviously looks aged as well but there's something you know Vern as soon as he sees his daughter you know his eyes light up and then that's where we cut it off the plot thickens oh the thickened plots yes oh I played the stunner sound (laughs) no no it was like the It's a, it's a movie. It was really well placed background music then from the yeah, movie. Jesus Christ! I was gonna say, oh, next to hunting for a baby owl pet, it's pretty fucking intense. God damn! I kind of want to like continue. <laughs> Good shit. What? Like. I want to continue so badly. Like, but we only have 15 minutes. I think this is a really good. Next week. I I know. I know. I think (laughs) this is a like. I wanted to get into the nitty gritty, but we spent a lot more time than I expected doing other things. It's not fair. I didn't think Matt would Matthew would freak out at the start of the session, and we would just like play a joke and then quickly do the thing and then get. I didn't think Matthew would freak out either, but because you used his because you used ancient relics to play a, a a really cool joke, he freaked out. Yeah. It's not so. fair. High five, by the way, Enrique, but not fair. It's not fair. What's not fair? The win hype. <laughs> Sorry, guys. But, hey, you so- now know where your parents oh, are. Oh, what's going on? <laughs> I feel like part of me is not surprised that Langdon Winheim's there. Yeah. Because, like, it makes sense for his character. Uh huh. <laughs> Alexandria, Daddy! Because I definitely expected Luke and, and Vern. By the way, we'll call it even. Let's just call it 700 for each person. 700? Yeah. It was all just roleplay, really. Sound fair? Yeah. Yes. Yep. The most fair. <laughs> okay. Um, stream, thank you for watching. How is everyone doing? You guys okay? Well, there's too much wind hype. Too much wind hype. I can feel the emotions. I can feel, <laughs> I can, I can feel my heart beating. Uh, it's too good. We are uh, 395 away from leveling up. Just 300. Really? I'm by about 800. How are I'm you sorry. that close? I don't know. It's, that's how I've calculated it. Yeah, I'm at 2705. I'm at. 20, I'm at 3205. I'm at 33, and I should have the most because of the rat kills. How much do you have, Joe? I should have 36. How do you have 36? I have no idea. Should I tone myself down a bit then? Well, what? Okay, well, that means you have 300 more than I do. I oh, no, know. yeah. Wait, wait, wait. John, what was the total you had again? 3205. And if you're tied with me, probably you should be there. Yeah. I have 30, yeah, I should. 55. I remember getting, like, some for shitty jokes. And then the killing of like the rats and other small rodents. I have like fourteen more to go before I level. Yeah, you should be the lowest because because you swaps. Yeah, because you swaps. Yeah. Let me know how much XP I should lose. Well, it's, it's up to Trisha. I just I'm trying to think where you got the other three hundred. I've been keeping myself consistent. I'm only been adding what she's told us. Trying to think. I don't know, actually. Well, we'll discuss that later. Yeah. I think uh, we're a few of us are pretty tired. Um, it's been a long talky session. How'd you guys do? How'd you guys? How are you guys feeling? You okay? Yeah. Before I forget, ate a minutor. You ate a minotaur. You ate a minotaur? 
A lot of good things happened today. You ate a Minotaur. You got your scrimshaw. You got your medicinal herbs. Alexandria made some celestial buddy. Um, you see, our, saw daddies, and you yeah, met the king. Woo. We also have a new mission to head over to Miracle Falls. You have a new mission to head over to Miracle Falls. You got a few things to do in Bali. You got a lot going for... Oh, and, okay, the 40th of summer is quickly approaching. So, that is also happening. What are we at? How'd I do? The 20th? Huh? 21st. What, what are we We're at? We're at the 21st. Oh, shit. No, yeah. you're, doing, you're doing great. Did not expect the king. Well, okay, cool. Holy fuck. I have a few questions for him after I stop sulking over my daddy. <laughs> I bet everyone has questions for the guy. Okay. I'm trying to... I never gave myself the the ability point bonus from being level 4. I'm trying to think of what I should put it into. But I just remembered I still have that. Okay, yeah, go for it. How about a plus 1 on your rolls? <gasps> I, <gasps> do oh! I do need that. I haven't, I haven't talked all night, so I had to say something. Go for it. Eh. I think D20 just hates us. Let me roll a D20. Oh, God. See? Oh, oh, God. Ow. Really? Even the DM? Yeah, see? Wow. See, the the two highest are sevens. What the fuck? Thank God no one did any uh, combat today. Got that random... Oh! 20. Shit. Are we just all waiting for me to roll now? Yes. No. Yeah. Then you get your like. If I roll 20. above a ten, I'm gonna like try an and get with that blacksmith chick. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is he gonna try to get with um, with Iris? Oh hell yeah. Yeah. Just we're, see her like. We're, fr I'd we're get friends. With her. Huh? Yeah, we're friends. We could try. <laughs> we could try. Thank you, stream again for watching us. I will be uploading NPCs, uh, towns. I will be uploading all that stuff on the Facebook page stream. If Thank you, you for watching. If you need to watching. catch up on our sessions, we've been uploading on YouTube. We yes. have a Facebook page now. Yes. We have two places you can get updates from. And we have our old campaign. If you scroll down, we have links. Yeah. Yeah. So, Win Hype Chronicles, Win I think, Chronicles. Wednesdays. Um, oh, well, yeah, we have a set... We have a set schedule now. We forgot to talk about that. Mm-hmm. Every Wednesday. Wednesday I'm going to put my point to strength. For it. Sploosh. Well, next week I should be able to stay up later. Yep, totally cool. You sound really tired. I, I got like less than four hours of sleep last night. I'm fucking exhausted. Fucking sleep. Yeah, I oh, sleep. Oh, my, oh my god, go to bed. Let's call the stream then. Yeah. All right. Bye, stream. Thanks a lot, stream. Good night, stream. Thanks later, for watching. Stream. It was Thank great to so have much. you guys. No I see you guys. Uh... It's nice real. Jake and the cruel king. Thanks for sticking around. Next the Wednesday. Seen you've been. You were here the whole time. So thanks, guys. See you there. Yeah.